Tip. I'm good. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the inaugural edition of our... One second. I have to turn down the music on my end, because I can't hear myself. This is going well. Okay. Welcome, everyone, to the inaugural edition of our D&D campaign, which is tentatively titled Grand Loria. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of background for everyone, of which I've written. Most of you already read this. Let me spit out my cough drop. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm a little bit sick, in case anybody's watching this. I, though I doubt anyone is. Um, welcome to the world of Tropian and the continent of Gran Loria. After years of conflict, the civilized races have formed a pact, a sort of union, to prevent future wars. The Council of Five and most powerful representative of the races of humans, elves, dwarves, gnomes, and dragonborn rule in relative peace over the combined lands of their races, having overthrown the kings and warlords that have previously ruled the land. Things, of course, are not without strife. Races without representatives on the council are given secondary status within this nation. Magic is heavily constrained, mostly due to the common fear of magic, uh, or the commoner's fear of magic, rather. If someone is deemed sufficiently too powerful in the arcane, they are fitted with a restraining collar and sold to the highest bidder. It is no coincidence that members of the council are also the citizens with the most slave mages. Outside of the walls of the cities, hedge, hedge witches... <clears throat> and shamans still practice their magic to help their community, but must do so in relative obscurity. There's a movement away from various churches representing the gods, and the church is pushing against this with a vengeance. New groups of fanatics are forming within the temples of the faithful who view the use of magic slaves and the accumulation of wealth as heretical. Outside of the temple walls, there are rumblings of groups of commoners forming anti-council anti groups seeking to tear down the oligarchy that is currently ruling the empire. To the north are the lands of the quote-unquote barbarians, the freedom-loving people of various races that refuse to accept the new rule. While small in number, the mountainous regions that they hail from and their lack of any central government makes it difficult for the council to eradicate them entirely. <clears throat> in this time of peace, the people's attentions are moving away from how do I survive to why do I act in a certain way. It's in an age of enlightenment, but it's also the beginning of an age of expansion. The count... the jungle continent to the south, Tamar, is now being considered for expansion by the council. From that continent, there's tales of strange lizard folk wearing brightly colored headdresses made of feathers and monstrous lizards and insects, insects <clears throat> the size of a grown man's head and roving bands of bloodthirsty orcs. But there's also gold and magic and glory to be taken back to the civilized lands. This is the job of the expeditionary corps that has been created. That is the introduction to the setting for this campaign. Now, all of you have been asleep, um, and you awaken quite roughly, in fact, to the sound of waves, and it's very, it's very confusing. You hear the sound of waves and creaking, and you all wake up rather stunned that you are now uh, one second that you you hear that you now realize that you're on a boat of all places a boat um, but you're on you're uh, below deck so you can't you can't really see a whole lot there's dimly lit lanterns um, that are just barely glowing enough for you to see um, in fact, let me reveal the area so that you can see. <clears throat> As you begin to awaken to the sound of clanging and, and creaking, uh, a large bearded man with a, with a pot belly um, starts walking down the deck and starts shouting, Get up, you scrats! You've all been either... Uh, convinced or, or brought aboard to serve the expeditionary car. <clears throat> and I say get up! And uh, as you start to stand up, as you start to move around, you realize that you are in uh, essentially like a shrift. Uh, you're not wearing anything um, except for, you know, plain clothes 
a pair of pants and a, and a shirt and maybe a hood over your head. Um, and this man is wielding a whip. Uh, how do you respond? I get up. Uh, likewise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Are we all together? Yep. You are all... Let me actually move you into your places. Try to, anyway. Um, and you realize that you're not alone. There's another group of people on the other side who I didn't actually create. Um, but imagine that there are other confused people sitting on the other side. <laughs> <clears throat> now you've heard you've heard stories of people being press ganged into um, serving the the navy. Um, it is something that you've heard about, but uh, you didn't actually believe the stories, or maybe you did. Um, your characters will determine. But he starts. He goes through and he he starts surveying you guys, looking you up and down, uh, and he starts with Chris and he turns and he or excuse me. <clears throat> Alvec. He turns to Alvec and he goes, My, you're a big bastard. I grunt in reply. Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he doesn't, he seems nonplussed. He doesn't really care. Um, he walks over and he takes a look at, um, next in line, it looks like it is any Alice? No, it's actually, um, Alaris. And Alaris... He looks at you and he goes, There's not much to you, is there? Like, uh, you're gonna get eaten alive. That may be. And he walks over and he, uh, he views the next guy and he, the uh, next guy in line would be actually any Alice. And he goes, uh, <clears throat> you don't even look like you, you could swing a sword, boy. What are you doing here? I bow. Uh, and he, he mutters something about the goddamn pointy ears to both of you. Um, and he goes up to the, he goes up to, to Josh and he says something along the lines of, uh, my, what a beauty, even with the shaved head. Uh, I might just take you along for myself. I do my best to ignore him while keeping my eyes downcast. Okay. And finally he stops at uh, at uh, the halfling, at Taella, uh, and grunts. He doesn't really respond to you. Um, and he turns around and he starts surveying... Oops. And he starts surveying the other side. So now he's facing this way. Um, and he comes to the first guy, and the first guy is this nervous... Very small man, middle-aged, with a beard, um, and I guess I'm just adding beards to everyone. Uh, and he go, the the small man goes, "No, you can't, you can't, have, you can't, uh, you can't do this, sir. I I I did not sign up for this." And he's like, "No one here signed up for this, boy. Where do you think you are?" Um, and uh, the man starts to protest even further, and the the bosun pulls out his whip and he starts whipping the man um, until the man realizes that uh, he can't, like, protest doesn't really fit him. Seeing this, another member of the crew who you've not, another member of the press gang crew, I guess, um, starts to run. Um, and the man very violently uses his whip to wrap it around, he wraps it around the man's neck and starts to strangle him. Wow. <clears throat> And you soon realize that you are not in a very friendly place. Um, he turns to all of you and he says, "You've got free reign of the ships. We've, we've taken your your equipment uh, after you after you after we picked you up at the um, picked you up at the end. We took your equipment and sent it along on another ship. So there's not much you can do here anyway." Uh, but uh, soon we'll be forcing you guys to, to clean the ship and stuff. Um, and so with that, he, he drags the dead body upstairs uh, with him, and you are free to roam for a while. Uh, do you take any actions? 
How do we uh, control our characters? Uh, you should be able to click them and drag them. Nope. Yeah, I cannot either. I can click and drag them, apparently. I think um, maybe we have to drag them out. Oh, oh hold on. Hold on. Uh, or maybe you can give us permission. See, this is good things to... to do. <laughs> Uh, who's, who am I on now? Uh, Laris. Which is Nick. And then... Oh. This should be... Josh, and then Tom. All right, everyone. My name's Satelli. Now has control their character. There we go. Pushed over. Satelli, yes, yes. But uh, so, how do, like, what are your first actions now that you are basically stuck on this ship for a while? Okay, so I assume this is my bunk here. This yes. thing. Yes. Okay. Um, I go back to bed. You go back to bed. Okay. Okay. I will not talk to the nice lady next to me. I'll talk to this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, how did how did you change your facing there? Uh, the, uh, this little. Well, I turn my left foot. Oh, sorry, that was out of character. Isn't it? Ah, okay. I see. You you pulled the thing. No, that's okay. Is there a way you can use the keyboard to turn? Because you can use the the uh, like air keys um, to move. Ah, uh, so you can't use the arrow keys. Uh, on. I will walk over and join the two people in conversation. Okay. okay. Say, I'm Taylor. How many hours? A large. I don't entirely know how I got here. We have apparently been, uh, not Shanghai. Shanghai doesn't exist. Uh, press ganged. And I am not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little confused that they got me. Uh, who are all these other people? Just randoms, I guess. Oh, no, yeah. uh, um, so, most, like, so, you it was originally ten, now there is nine, and a dead body. Uh, speaking of which, you hear a loud splash, uh, upstairs. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, You've got a very frightened man, and then uh, two uh, dwarves, and then a uh, yes, a, a young woman as well. I, w I will say hi to the Goliath that has come over and joined our conversation. Yeah. Hi. Hello. What's your story? They knock you over the head and take you out of the end too. Apparently. <laughs> okay. Well, these these um, guys. So I'd read. Yeah. Uh, 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 these guys seem like they mean okay. business. I think we should probably be careful. Yes. That's can we go bad. above deck? Yeah, I don't there think we can do anything until we look around. Yeah, there is a, there is stairs leading up. Um, which is where this fellow went, so... <laughs> Whee! I must go, my people need me. <laughs> <laughs> now is time for a kick. Okay, so there, there's nothing else yeah. below deck here. Oh yeah, I suppose we should talk to them too. There, there are very, um, very dimly lit, uh, lanterns, and there are these piss pots, and then their beds. That's pretty much it, besides what's, uh, besides, um, the other people here. Uh, so are you guys, what sort of actions are you taking? Uh, uh movement on. actions, primarily. <laughs> uh, go up to... Oh one of the dwarves, and introduce myself. Uh, 
we got really drunk and now we cannot remember how we got here. How about you? I think I got whacked over the head. I would explain this bump. Well, I'll tell you what, I wonder where we're going. Do you have any idea? I've heard rumors they're shipping people off to the, the southern continent. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That's uh You know you know how long of a voyage that is. Just I out hear... of curiosity. Uh out of character or in character? In character. <laughs> in character. Um I mean you guys are like it's it's a familiar so I'd compare it to oh, like, would, would um, we have, um, would we have so heard like, about this? I'd compare it like going from like Spain to Africa. That would be the kind of voyage you could expect. So a couple of days, like oh, it's, okay. It's, the continents are close-ish. It's not like I was imagining from like Europe yeah, to North America, not, really, but not, not from like Gibraltar to Morocco, where you could probably swim <laughs> it. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, a, few, a few days. Right. Yes. Um, gotcha. It's maybe more like France to Africa. Yeah, maybe more like France to Africa. What about like Belgium to Africa? I don't think we need to get into that specific. <laughs> and also, everywhere else to Africa. <laughs> France well, and Africa uh, is actually the same distance as Norway and Africa. Fun fact. I think we're gonna we're gonna take a look around, but uh, okay. Hopefully, we can uh, maybe cooperate on you know anything that might need cooperating on. While they were talking with uh, me and my brother are miners. I've never seen a fight in my life. I don't know what they're bringing me for. Well, maybe they. I mean, they got to be doing something there. Maybe they're mining. Oh, maybe maybe they're gonna take us all to be miners. In the meantime, Grum is muttering. He doesn't apparently speak. <laughs> um, because I can't come up with a second Scottish accent. I mean, that's his character. <laughs> What's uh? Did we all wake up at once or? Oh, well, are we out? Woke up to, we pretty uh, much woke up when the guy started yelling at us, right? Yeah, yeah. You heard us like as he started clanging a bit with a with his sword, uh, rattling his saber, and then uh, he started shouting, and that's what woke you guys up ultimately. Literally rattling his saber. <laughs> no, I like it. Did we all wake up at the same time? That's yes. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, well, I, it, I mean, it could be sorcery that kept us all asleep. Ooh. We all woke up at the same time. Magic is pretty dastardly. While this conversation is going on, so I... I wouldn't know anything about that. Heck. Split heck. Oh, that's right. While that conversation is going on, I am... Quietly observing the character that just went back to bed. Okay. <laughs> just watching you sleep. I'm uh, curious. Is there any There's response? There's a story from... there. Uh, is there any... No. There's not. Okay. Are There's you no actually. Response. Should we poke her? Is she actually asleep or is she just fake? What if she's still under the sorcery's effect? So, um, Alvec, was it? That's right. Should we go look around? I was thinking about heading up to the deck. Alright. Join us. Red guy. Okay, or okay. was your name Any Alice? Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so... I approach the bed and ask. Whee! Oh. Okay, so we're splitting <laughs> into two, two storylines here. Okay. Splitting uh, the party go. already before getting off the ship. <laughs> I approach the bed and ask this stranger what her name is. Um, I do my best to pretend to be asleep. I ask again, knowing that she's faking. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Sounds like a perception check. Yeah. Actually, roll perception and... I'm probably uh, rolling a bluff, which is going to suck. <laughs> you're rolling bluff, yeah. Uh, uh, that's passive wisdom, right? 
there's a perception um, thing on your character sheet that you can roll. Insight, right? You can both roll at advantage, right? Because, um, yeah. Um, there isn't actually a bluff check listed here, so would that be... Deception. Oh, deception. Yeah, oh, makes sense. Yeah. Well, oh. um, Oof. wow. Well, um, you right. think... Oh, sorry. Yeah, as far as you can tell, she is deep asleep. She is asleep. <laughs> she may actually be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a natural 22. <laughs> Nick rolled a 19, though. Yeah, no, those were good rolls. Alright. Well, would you care I to join us, sir? away towards the stairs with the rest of the group. Okay. Okay. Whee! So, uh, as you come above deck, uh, you see... Oops. Uh, you see a bunch of sailors. You can always can move your characters if you'd like. Um, you just assume that uh, you guys pop out of the same area and not in the lo not in the rowboats. Um, <laughs> you see the bosun, um, which is represented by oh, who I'm going to move. Um, and next to him is speaking to. Speaking to a finely dressed, uh, bit of a, uh, how would I say this? Um, he is a, he's a very large feather in his hat. Um, he's, he's very short. He's a halfling. Um, he's bright blue clothing with many medals on it. Um, and you would assume that, that, that is the captain. Um, and next to them... Uh, is a bound mage. Um, that's... Yes, so take from that what you will. Now, see if I was a rogue, that'd be an invitation to try and loot the mage. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll hide <laughs> out here on the flat deck <laughs> where multiple people can see me. Well, if you're there all are, funny at work. There are right? normal <laughs> ship things, which I can't figure out how to make from, like, these crappy textures. Um, like, like a... Like a mast and everything, but... Yes, 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 yes. There's normal ship things, and if it comes down to it, I can put them in somehow. Okay. Well, I've already seen somebody get murdered here, so I'm not feeling particularly adventurous. Yeah. Nope. Nope, I am, I am fine going to this other combat. Um, like the other one, anyway. But I may try to uh, loiter a little closer and eavesdrop in a, unobtrusively. Okay. Um, make a perception check? That, that would be perception, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I would think so. Here, I'll pretend to have a conversation with you, and I'll add my, my perception to your... Oh. Okay. I mean, they succeed because the bosun is not a very smart man, and neither and is he. <laughs> <No. laughs> but, um... And the, the, you can hear the, the, the small halfling squeaking very, very viciously at the bosun, like, How dare you have killed that prisoner? You know how much they're worth! Um... You weren't kidding that when he said squeaking. Um, <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's really not helpful that I have a cold right now. Um, and he continues to, to admonish him for that. Um, and he says, you know, it's only going to be one more day. You couldn't have lasted one more day without killing someone. And the bosun replies, well, why didn't your pet mage, uh, why didn't your pet mage keep, keep them asleep for the entirety of the ride? Um, uh, uh, and so the, the captain squeaks back, you know, um, it, it is, it's very draining on him, and I don't like to use, uh, I don't like to use Theodore that way, um, and the mage in the back clearly looks uncomfortable, and because it, his name is clearly not Theodore, um, <laughs> he's a very disgruntled looking man, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the conversation that you hear. Not pleased with his career choice. Didn't you say bound? 
I was under the impression he, impression he looked kind of like a prisoner as well. Yes, yeah, so he's got he's some got sort of restraining collar for, uh, for Mage, um, of which the captain has the, you know, the, the uh, wand that controls him. Um, and yeah, so but essentially he's he's not very he's not very happy looking. He's looks like he's a beaten man. Um, he's wearing rags, uh, but you can sense power coming from him. Okay, so probably not going to just murder us. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. Also, only one day. <laughs> Maybe we should just ooh, ooh, just keep me. our heads down and. And try not to draw attention to ourselves. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Seems like the best idea. Okay. Is so you guys are going to take the take time. time and... Hello, person. What is your name? My name is Taylor. <laughs> Everyone runs over to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm Satali. You guys are awfully friendly for people who impress ganged into service and have never met me before. Okay. Uh, well, I guess uh, we won't try to cooperate or anything then. That's okay. No, that's not what I said. I'm just mildly surprised that the whispers would be that friendly with strangers. How much do you remember before you were knocked out? Uh, not a lot, unfortunately. That um, seems to be the case with all of us. Oh, what'd you guys hear? They confirmed sorcery. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the captain, or the bosun, implied that they had a mage keeping us asleep. That would definitely explain a lot. Quiet. One more day. Also, they implied we're valuable, so they're probably not just going to kill us for giggles. Uh, Again. Yeah, that uh, that other guy didn't seem, uh... No, it's not entirely reassuring, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but there is a possibility that we have some leeway here that we can use to our advantage. Yes. Is the, the mage, like, right next to the, the those people? Yeah, you get the sense that he can't, like, leave uh, the captain's side for very long. Because he, he seems, seems to hover around him. I will not try going over to him to start a conversation, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... So, yeah, you've learned, essentially, that you're valuable cargo, um and that you have been press ganged into service uh by the expeditionary forces good times. good times i would really like to know is what they're going to do with us when we get there i would not like to know i suspect i will find out far too quickly <laughs> fair enough um could we make some sort of uh intelligence uh, check to determine whether we could like intuit what happens to press ganged sailors uh, does anyone have like a knowledge history or knowledge politics like sort of thing thingy? nope I don't even know if that's a thing anymore honestly um, oh yeah, yeah there is a history it. skill yeah, yeah. That'd be probably all you can make you can make like a, a intelligence check to reason like what might happen Just kind of crap, but my role doesn't care too much. So, wait, uh, Forrest actually has a history of three. Oh, uh, well, okay. Well, it's just uh, I don't. It's not a it's your intelligence. Skill like that. Yeah, it's just my intelligence. Oh yeah. Okay. Can I? I don't know if I can roll on history in that case. I mean, uh, rolling on history is just rolling on your intelligence if you don't have proficiency in it. So. Well, that's fair. So, um, at this point then, uh, 
Taylor being the one who is most familiar with, uh, like, the underground, like, how, like, criminal punishment and stuff, um, reasons that, uh, or you, you, you reason that, like, um, from stories that you've heard in the criminal underground, um, in so far as, like, uh, from people who survive stuff like this is that you are essentially forced into like an armed forces um, and you have to serve for a certain amount of time they have your identity or they have uh, your identity and if you would try to escape people have been hunted down for um, essentially leaving service and court-martialed um, but they're probably gonna force you into some sort of like army of some variety or like some poor man's yeoman's army sort of, sort of situation. Okay. Who are they fighting? The those are the people or orcs? Or orcs? Okay. Well, you know that there's no current war going on. Um, you've heard stories of the southern continent, but you're not mm -hmm. familiar with anything other than lore. Okay. Just that there are natives and they're not happy. Uh, uh, so sort of thing. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, just as you're sort of standing there, Grim and Grum... Grom? Grim and Grum, I think were their names, uh, wander up as well. Um, and are like, Oh, have you guys heard the stories of what they got in that continent over there? Great big lizards and, 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 and cats with massive fangs and stripes you mean like dragons uh, that's, that's definitely not what a cat is uh, he's uh, talking about the lizards. lizards no no dragons have wings and can speak these are giant like iguanas but, that but I've heard there's gold plenty, plenty. Of gold. Uh, well that explains why they'd go to all this trouble you gonna have us mine? Did you? Sorry, Sorry. what? <laughs> well, the stories I've heard is that people who are press ganged are normally put into a kind of militia and forced to to fight the natives. Well, that doesn't sound so great either. No, I don't think I'm cut out for the army. You did say I couldn't hold a sword, so you're probably right there. <laughs> we are probably getting getting militarized. Um, as you guys are speaking, the the young lady who was under under the deck uh, in a state of shock earlier um, has wandered above deck and is now standing on the railing, um, looking as if she's going to jump from the deck. I walk over to her. Uh, and uh, try to calm her down. She just shakes her head and keeps muttering, we're doomed, we're doomed. Uh, Roll I'd... a charisma? Unless you have something I have more... Persuasion. persuasion, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so, um, I start <clears throat> talking to her and tell her that uh, you know, I've I've been through a lot. Uh, the temple where I was raised was burnt down by demons, but I've managed to make it through. And uh, by the light and grace of Lathander, I will make it through this, and I will do everything in my power to guide her through it as well. She begins sobbing. Um, I wrap but... a comforting arm around her, yeah. and at the same time, try and pull her back onto the deck. <laughs> Yep, she begins sobbing and, and steps off with you and just kind of sits down, um, which angers the fat man with the whip. Um, and as he walks over, he's he's shouting about, Why are you sitting? There's no sitting on this ship! Um, and he's preparing the whip to strike the I light. glare at him um, and uh, tell him sternly in an even voice that uh, we have just woken up to unfamiliar surroundings. We've been through a lot. Uh, and from what my companions have said, uh, 
you've already lost one crewman, so unless you want to lose yet another one, you should probably back off. <clears throat> he glares at you. Roll a persuasion check. Okay. Um, as he's glaring, but like kind of confused as to what he's gonna do, the little little uh, captain clearly like walks up to him, taps him, like pats him on the arm, like it's okay, Brutus. It's okay. Go go have some gruel. <laughs> um, and Brutus like is now confused and grunts and waddles away, itching his bum, uh, and muttering about gruel. Uh, and so. Yeah, the the captain walks up and he's like, "That was a fine job dealing with him. Usually he's a lot he's a lot harsher to to you uh people." Mm. <laughs> Cargo? Uh I try not to be offended. And uh he's like, "Well, you guys can settle in. It's uh, it's only about a day's ride until we get to where we're going, and then you won't have to deal with Brutus ever again." I thank him for his hospitality. He's like, I like you. I might give you some extra gruel tonight. Um, and with that, he turns around and sort of prances back to his cabin, um, leaving you guys uh, by yourselves with the sailors. So not by yourselves. <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. Um, yeah, so you guys have learned you've got about a day's ride until you get there. Um, sail. Day's sail. Day's sail, excuse me, uh, until you get there. Um, is there any action you want to take between now and then? Back to bed. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I think so. I, I think at this point the... Well, I'm not going to do anything even if I kill everyone on the ship, so... Yeah, like, I, I personally have no nautical experience whatsoever, so... Uh, a mutiny is not really in the cards for me. Uh, as you're all... <laughs> okay, as you're all going to bed, um, the sobbing woman will not stop following Josh. Um... <laughs> And when Josh lays down, she curls up at her feet. It's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, but yeah. I allow it. Um, yeah. Uh, Nick, did you have things you wanted to try? I'll stay up on deck. And okay. For a little while. I suppose Just as an observe. elf, you don't have to sleep all that much. Um. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it goes pretty normally. Um, you see... You see sailors, you know, wandering about. Occasionally you see Brutus beating people because he's Brutus. Um, <laughs> uh, you see the mage mistreated uh, by his master because that's sort of how it works now. Um, you see the mage just sort of... Um, like, taking... Like, occasionally, like, the... the captain will use his wand and inflict a lot of pain on him in case he's if, just to make sure he's in charge but you don't see a whole lot um, that night and then over the course of the next day you see you start to see uh, something that goes wrong with music that I have picked out um, you begin to see uh, you get you begin to see the tops of like trees. You just seem to see a lot of green. Um, and uh, as you notice that like these these trees uh, are just massive. They're huge, uh, massive like trees with vines hanging from them. You see shapes flying over the head that look like giant bats. Um, <laughs> but they don't look. They don't have the shape of dragons. The wings are clearly fused to the the body of the creature. Um, but it's not something you're familiar with. Um, and as you guys are starting to pull up, you hear Brutus come downstairs and start clanging on his, uh, clanging on stuff with his 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 rusty saber. Get up, you scratch! It's time for you to get off me ship. 
Gladly. <laughs> get up, man. All right. Um, and so you get up, and he starts. He's like, "All right, form a line." Um, and he he like ties everyone's hands together. Uh, he forces Nick into this like line as well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and he ties your hands together and he starts dragging you upstairs. Um, uh, and as you start to approach, um, you let me move myself over here. You come to a clearly not stolen uh, from Reddit village here. <laughs> um, you see, they've cut part. They've cut away the trees in a massive de deforestation effort from the beach. Um, so you you climb out of the the, the ship and you uh, head onto the beach. And as you head onto the beach, you notice like this massive deforestation where people have actually they've managed to clear away a lot of the land and uh, actually farm form little farms uh, that don't seem to be doing super well. They're kind of sickly. As you're walking through. Um, the crops aren't growing great. And a man meets you at the gate. And he says, Brutus, how you doing, old boy? And Brutus is like, brought you another load. Enjoy. And they share they share uh they share some some niceties. Uh and he hands Brutus a bag of gold. And he's like, Come meet me at the inn later when you're getting restocked, we'll have a good drink. Um and the man is uh, not named because I forgot to name him. <laughs> Give me a second. Let's go with... Um, his name is Marfire Milner. <laughs> nice. Um, he introduces himself and he says, "All right, come with me so I can treat. I can meet you. So you can meet the captain of the guard and get your assignments." Um, and yeah, so he starts. He grabs the rope from Brutus and starts bringing it along to the center of town, uh, where you're introduced to the captain of the guard. Whose name is, uh, none of these. Uh, his name is Captain Adaros. Uh, and Captain Adaros looks you all down and he's like, you guys will be eaten by sundown by the creatures here. Um, but cut them loose so we can get them their, their assignments. Um, now he looks at you and he goes, I understand like, this is not an ideal situation for anyone involved. I would prefer a professional army myself. Um, but we, we're short on hands and we need to help. And if you want to survive here, your best bet is to work with me and not against me. Um, he's, uh, he's taking a knife and uncutting you all from the rope. Um, does any, do any of you have, uh, like, uh, any uh, history in combat? And he looks at all of you. I nod. And say... It's a grunt. Uh, of course the big bastard does. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, he's like, you guys will do nicely. What about the rest of you? I can fire a crossbow, but I've never used it in combat. Perfect. Uh, and you too, the, the, the the little tiny ones, the, the pointy ears. I uh, I used a crossbow to defend my store back home, but but I've never actually shot it. <laughs> Close enough. Um, oh God. and uh, so he's like, "All right, what you need to do is go see Livius. Um, he is our he is our uh, blacksmith slash uh, or or armor rather, um." Uh, you'll find him in the, 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 what is the word I'm looking for? Long hall, long house, 
Longhouse? It's just Longhouse, isn't it? That is a word uh, for us. That is a word for the structure you decide. Describe. Yes. Yes. Right? Um, so you, you go see him. He's in the Longhouse. Um, he. It's. Uh, it's where we store all the weapons and equipment. Your stuff should be there. Um, and as you are, he points towards that location. He's like, um, but uh, know this: if you run off into the jungle, you'll be dead before sundown. And if you try to escape on the boat, they'll throw you off, and you'll be dead before sundown. I thought you said we were gonna get eaten by sundown anyway. You might be eaten by sundown as well. <laughs> but if you stick with me, there's a chance you won't. What, what's uh, your goal uh, here? What what are we supposed to be doing? Well, we're we're uh, we're supposed to be protecting this settlement and the settlements around this settlement. Um, there are other minor satellite uh, logging camps and and uh, and mining camps that we've set up. Um, and we've been having a hell of a lot of trouble with the natives, um, with, uh, raiding parties, uh, like, robbing us and killing our, our workers, and so, your job here is essentially going to be to stop those raids. Primarily defensive or offensive? Yes. Stop raids. Okay. Um... <laughs> But yeah, he's like you're free to you're free to stock up on equipment and stuff. Um, meet me back here tomorrow morning uh, by sun sun up. Um, I know you must be tired. Tired. Where, Where are we to supposed to? Uh, well, actually, so yeah, Livius will deal with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Yeah. Uh. uh yeah, so Grim and Grum, uh, you'll notice, or have, have, have kind of stepped off to the side and found a shovel and are now digging holes for some reason, um, and are completely ensconced in that, and the young lady, uh, has now attached herself completely to Josh and is becoming, like, one of those little, like, uh, anglerfish things that, um, that eventually, like, shrivels into nothing, uh, uh and, and the very frightened man is begging Captain Adderos, who is not hearing any of it. Um, he is trying to walk away, and the man is trying to convince him that um, that uh, I, he shouldn't be here, basically. Uh, what do you guys do? I go to get my right, gear. Yeah, yeah, I go to get our gear. Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah. I will, yeah, I will um, talk to the friend, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, let's. Do Tim I will also first then. Go to the frightened man. Okay, uh, let's do Tim, Tim in first. I'll uh, try to. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. What are you? What are your steps? I try to kind of pull him away from the captain before he annoys him so much that he gets himself killed. <laughs> okay, um, you get the feeling that uh, Captain Adaros is a much more reasonable man than Brutus, um, even if he doesn't employ the most reasonable of men. Uh, but yes, you, you successfully wrangle the, the, the small middle-aged accountant away from, uh, away from the captain. While he's doing that, I talk to the captain, try and find out some more details about exactly what is going on and why we specifically are here. Okay. Um, so what sort of questions did you have for the captain? I'm going to assume to start broad. Uh, why us? Uh, well, son, uh, the Empire's uh, tactics of... of uh, what's the word? The Empire's tactics of um, recruitment. That's the word I'm looking for, young man. Uh, recruitment are a little bit uh, broad. They're pretty much whoever uh, was drinking at a certain inn uh, when a captain's nearby who can, uh, essentially, like, uh, kidnap them. So you guys all so we had the... the drunk. The un well, no, you didn't have to be drunk. It definitely helps the, sp the spell. Um, but, essentially, um, you guys all had the misfortune of being at the same inn that night, though you never, like, you didn't meet, perhaps. You were all in rooms at the same inn. The innkeeper uh, was paid off to leave, 
and then you were essentially press gang from there. You're you're kidnapped from that point. At least he's. As I mentioned, it's not it's not uh, it's not my favorite way of getting recruits, but uh, at this point, I'll take anything. Why are you so desperate? Well, you see, the Empire sent us here with a full battalion at one point, but there are things in this jungle, creatures that I, like, you'd never see on the mainland, and they ate most of my, most of my, uh, crew, or most of my battalion, um, 60 men reduced to, uh, a skeleton crew of about 10. Beyond that, there's sickness and plague and death out there. Um, not to mention the lizard folk and their dark, their dark rituals. What do you expect this ragtag group of people that you took from the inn to do about it? Uh, not die for a couple days until we can get the new, the new recruits. And where are those new recruits coming from? Probably also press ganged from another <laughs> ship. <laughs> You're Seems like a winning investments. strategy to me. <laughs> You're protecting investments, and this is the cheapest way to do it. It's it's the Russian strategy. <laughs> yeah. Are there any specific buildings, locations that we really need to make sure are kept safe? Well, they generally, for some reason, don't attack this close to shore. Um, but further into the jungle, we've got a number of logging camps. Um, the wood there's there's specific trees in this in this jungle that are uh great for you know shipbuilding um beyond that there's there are gold mines that uh yet have not yet found gold uh but we've heard tales of it so those are those are the the empire's highest priority how do you um, have a gold mine where you don't know there's gold well they're Pretty just sure kind of digging more forest <laughs> How, how do you think those dwarves knew to dig random holes in the middle of town? It's just, you know, dwarven mess. Yes. Any other questions, recruit? No, that'll be off. All right. And he flips I... you a coin, and he's like. We got a we've got a really terrible like uh, in here. The beer is you know the uh, uh, it's the cheapest we could bring across the ocean. But have yourself an extra glass on me. Um, it'll make uh, maybe uh, you know make it last couple of days a little bit better. Thank you. For such yes, a nice yes. guy, he's I, really a downer. I turn, <laughs> I turn, and then give the coin to. The halfling looks with you. Tim, what's your name? Taylor. I give the coin to Taylor. Um, you see, yeah. you see, you see, you see in the captain like, you can tell at one point he was a very fit man, in a very like, uh, like you know, very strong individual. But looking at him now, you you look at a man who's who is just. Like he's haunted. Like he's he looks he looks worn out and tired and just grim. Worse from hell. Yeah. Um. So the rest okay. of you, so not Taylor and not Alaris, but Eniel, Satelli, and Avec are going to Livius. Is that correct? Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. So as you walk in, um, Chris walks in through the door. And this this very very tiny very ancient gnome yelps and runs under his work table. I hear you have my sword. <laughs> he peeps up and he's like, "Oh, no recruits! Not some monster from the jungle! Thank gods! Thank the gods!" Um, my name is Livius. What's all your names? What's all of yours name? What's Hi, I'm Annie Alice. Albeck. And I'm Satali. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Livius. I am the tailor, the barber, the surgeon, the armorsmith, uh, and also uh, an inventor. Do you want to see my new invention? Um, and uh, he runs over and grabs something off his desk, 
very excitedly, and it's a black powder. And he says, "Watch this!" And he dips a he dips a, a light, a piece of wood from his that he lit off of his um, off of his lantern into the powder, and it explodes. Uh, and you are all blinded for ten seconds. Um, and he goes, "Amazing, isn't it?" Um, I say, yeah, quite. Um, so I was, or, well, we were led to believe that uh, our gear, weapons, and such that we had before being press game would be arriving on a second ship. Has that happened yet? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All of your stuff is here. Ah, good. Can we have it, please? Yes. Cool. But first, would you like to see one of my new inventions? Just give me my sword. <laughs> he helps again. <laughs> uh, and motions for you to follow it. Like So you've, you've entered like the main office area, but he motions you through a door um, in which uh, there are just rows and rows of beds. Um, but also in the back, you can see weapons and armor and crates and other things as well. Um, and he motions you. He's like, here's all your weapons. Um, additionally, I, uh, since you don't really have anywhere to sleep, you can always spend the night on my bed here, um, or on one of my beds here. Uh, they're also used for, for, uh, my patients, but there should be very, very little blood here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Perfect. Uh... uh I also thank him and ask if there's somewhere that I can change privately. Privately? Oh. Oh my, you're a woman. Oh, yes. Um, somewhere. Uh, I, I, you can generally find uh, outhouses around here, but don't go too close to the forest edge. Um, the outhouses near the forest edge tend to get eaten. The entire outhouses get eaten? Occasionally, the outhouses get eaten. Usually, it's just people who walk to the outhouses. Oh my. Forest Edge. I thank him for his advice and take my gear and head for an outhouse that is not close to the Forest Edge. <laughs> um, he, 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 looks at, uh, he, looks at, he looks at Chris. He looks at Alvec and he goes, Do you mind if I run a few tests on you? What kind of tests? Uh, without, uh, without really getting your permission, he runs over and he pricks you with a needle and draws a vial of blood and runs off back to his workshop. I scowl and walk to pick up my gear. And, uh, yeah, so, yes, you guys have picked up your gear, uh, assuming at some point Tayala and Alaris are going to do the same. Meet the Meet wonder of this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you've got you've got the night here. Um, uh, there's a couple places you can visit. There's Livius, who uh, controls a lot of the the uh, armory. Um, there's also the inn that you can visit. Uh, it's not really an inn as much as it is like a guy that sells beer and has straw mats. <laughs> Um, you can f walk around town and try to find information. Um, it's very, very like makeshift. A lot of a lot of the the buildings were hastily constructed. Um, yeah. How would you like to spend your evening? Um. Well, now that I have my gear and stuff and feel a bit more comfortable. Uh, I try and regroup with the others. Yeah, I think we should head over to the tavern. In. I'm sure the place has beer. Okay. Uh, it's been a long couple of days. I will. Yeah. I will see if they, if the uh, innkeeper would maybe give me a little extra food for if I performed there. Okay. Um. As you walk into the uh, quote-unquote tavern, um, which is actually, it's essentially a barn, um, you, uh, you, hear, you see the bartender like scuffling behind the bar, but you don't actually see who it is. 
But as you get closer, Livius's head pops up and he's like, Hello! How are you today? I face calm. <laughs> Hello again. You seem to have a lot of jobs around here. I do a lot of the work um, because most everyone else is dead. But I try to be happy about it. Do you want to try, try, try my invention? You guess I can what I can is it? I walk back out the door. <laughs> Uh, inside, there are also soldiers sitting on a very long table. Uh, they're enjoying their beer, and they see you and they scoff and snicker. Um, clearly, yes. Um, but but uh, yeah, yeah. used to recruits coming and getting eaten. Yes. <laughs> what do you guys? Uh, what would you like? Give me a beer. Um, is your water safe to drink? <laughs> I would avoid the water. Uh, beer then. Okay. That's four beers. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to go find the big guy, give him a five beer. Give him the fifth, the fifth beer. beer. <laughs> give him mine. <laughs> uh, what, what, Nick? Yes. I, don't I, I couldn't hear it. Okay. Just okay, so he carries two beers out to uh, Alvec. Um, and yes, uh, it comes back in, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, I take my beer over to who I, whoever I discern to be the, uh, the leader of this group of soldiers. And, okay. uh, ask him cheerfully if he has any advice for a newbie here. And offer him <laughs> my beer. He taps you on the shoulder very roughly, clearly trying to like stagger you. Um, make a reflex save or a what is it, strength, will, and con constitution. Do every every attribute has a save now. Oh, uh, make your um, make a strength save then. Awesome. Mm, that's awesome. <laughs> we'll still take the we'll still take the um. The higher roll, uh, and so he claps, he tries to clap you on the shoulder and knock you over, and you don't really flinch, and, uh, he nods approvingly. He's like, yes, uh, clearly in his head, he's like, a strong woman. I shall take her to bed. Um, and, uh, he's like, well, here's my first piece of advice. Avoid the big lizards with the fangs. Um, <clears throat> here's my second piece of advice. Avoid the little lizards with the spears. Uh, <laughs> third piece of advice if something bites you you're probably dead anyway that's his, mm. that's his advice so I say um, very interesting I get the impression that you survived this long by not actually doing any fighting yourself <clears throat> how dare you I am I was on the Guard duty the night the last uh, dinosaur attack happened. Or anyone know dinosaur? Excuse me. The last time the fucking lizard. The last time the lizards attacked. <clears throat> and he gets all uh, huffy and offended. And how many did you kill? Uh, I killed. It doesn't matter how many I killed. You're new here. I should. You. you I, you can't tell me like how to exist in this world until you've you've lived it like I have. Mm -hmm. I ask him if he's ever faced a demon before. I'll tell you what, what I've seen are worse than demons. Uh, and he he like, yeah, he's trying to he's trying to bluff you essentially like. Yes. Um, so I should probably roll against that then, presumably. Yeah. Uh, what would that be? Perception? Yeah, perception. Insight. Insight, okay. Um, That's yeah, so better. he's... He's well, clearly, like... Wow, interesting. Ouch. He's... Uh, he's, uh... He's clearly... Trying to... To... To BS you a little bit. Um, but at the same time, you do realize that, like, he is scared. Like, he is... Hmm. He is frightened. 
Um, whether you, whether it's of you or of what he's seen, it's hard to tell. <laughs> ah, well, um, I clap I... him on the shoulder purposefully, uh, s trying to clap him stronger than he uh, pushed me earlier. Um, make a re make a strength check. Yeah. Oh, ouch. <laughs> um. Oh no. <laughs> you not We're going to have a bar fight <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was not my intention. <laughs> you knock him so hard that he uh he he slams into his comrade uh who spills his beer who's now angry at the man who ran into him. I uh, immediately start punch. trying to I immediately try to start uh apologizing. At this point, they're not listening to, uh, they're not listening to any sort of, well, crap. uh, they're, they've started fighting amongst themselves, um, roll initiative. <laughs> Just him or everybody? Uh, anybody that wants to join in. Anybody, anybody that wants to stop the fight. Yeah, my options are pretty much shooting people and skewering people, so I'm gonna have to stick this one. <laughs> I hear the commotion and walk back into the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly is going on in well, here? Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll roll initiative, but I'm going to try to stay out of it unless I see a way to be helpful without murdering someone. Fuck yes. My roll initiative. My initiative. Just click uh, on your character sheet, just click initiative. I did, but can you see? Um, you Alaris? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got 19. Okay. Oh, oh nice wow. tip. And so... I'm going to use that to sit in the corner and be inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you could so... you could just uh, delay your action then, basically. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm going to do. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to set something up real, real quick here. here. Um, I'm sure you guys are very, very not tired of seeing uh, these fucking wood floors, <laughs> but I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, this it's is for positioning stuff. So, and this is a step above uh, a table in the library with soda bottles on it. <laughs> so uh... I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, that's. I mean, that was good. That was good times. But this is this is clearly a step forward in terms of. Technology. Well, you're just going to have to imagine it, or not. Well, you're just going to have to imagine it. Right. Right. Okay, um, so, there are six of them. Man, I was just trying to impress the guy. And then there are six of you. Uh... Really? Five, Five of you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is, is... Is Josh's lymph still hanging on to him? That would be interesting. Oh, oh. there is! Right, yes. Uh, oh, there's actually just a woman. Um, she is massive, though. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she's so much larger. Um... <laughs> She's not a massive woman in, well, I mean, in less Her like, model's yeah. large. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was gathering, but... <laughs> and then there is a very scared little gnome uh, who is prone to throwing dynamite in the corner. <laughs> oh, <Ooh. great. laughs> right. Uh, maybe I'll go over and sit next to him and try to keep him from blowing people up. <laughs> Okay, um, so, what the fuck is everyone's initiative? I've already forgotten. Uh, let me go back. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, the list there. Uh, okay. Yeah, exit. when I rolled initiative, it says you wanted to send the result of the road to the turn check, and a valid token was selected. So I think if you open the turn order window first, and then we roll initiative, it goes straight to it, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's try that. Turn. No, you've already rolled initiative. You can't roll a second one. I was just saying so go in there. Just because you want to punch more people. Um, no, I'll get my turn, turn, even with a four. Alaris is this, add turn. Um, 
and then three of these guys at, at turn, at turn, at turn. Um, rolling. Okay, so, and then it's actually at turn, so that's five. Okay, and then it is uh, Kira at turn. Oh, shoot, I just realized that that was. Uh... And then two, these last two get to turn. Wait, no. Someone, I'm missing someone. Who am I missing? You, you said there are six of them, but you only oh, have oh, five yes. rolls. Uh, the too. list is so long, I can't. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Alright, everyone's got a turn now. First in turn is, uh... Oh. Well, I just doubled the lowest for one of them. I see what you mean now. Yes. First in order is Taylor. Hey, right. I'm gonna. Um, um, were you, were you gonna, gonna switch it to the bar setup? Oh uh, yeah, the map. The bars. Yeah, you yeah, said you were better. arranging uh, wooden floor. Yeah, there we go. And that also shows turn order. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I see what you mean about the wind being massive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't remember the character. Yeah, me to give us character missions again, too. Okay. Uh I think I might have given someone an accidental... Can everyone move their characters? Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then you're over by this guy because you punched him. You pushed him and he punched his friend. And your uh, leech is right next to you. Okay. So, turn order. Tim. Okay. Um... Oh, nice, it shows feet too. That's awesome. Yep, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, over to. I assume this is the bartender. Yes. That is, that is Livius. Go over to him and ask if he has a club or something I can borrow. Um, yeah, he does actually. He, he like, grabs an old table leg and hands it to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, probably best if you kept your head down, huh? He's like nodding, but he's also like fidgeting with the sack, which you assume has explosive powder in it. <laughs> yeah, maybe give us a, a chance to restore order before you you explode things. He's he's nodding like like very fervently. He's like, yep, 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 yep. He keeps repeating the word, yep. All right. Um. Can I? Get back into combat, or is that my turn? Um, let me measure. I think you can. 
move 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, you can move. Yeah, my move speed is 25 feet. Oh, that's right, you're tiny. Uh, <laughs> you can get almost there. Sure. Stubby legs. Okay. Well, I'll just move behind this big guy and be ready to, to help this okay, thing okay. shake out. Hey, big guy. Um, one know? thing that I can mention is that melee attacks no longer are necessarily lethal. You can choose to incapacitate instead. That was my question. Excellent. Yeah, but not poking holes in people just seems nicer than poking holes in people. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> um, and so next in turn order is you, Forrest, uh, Eliana, me? Uh, yeah, any else? No, I think Alaris is Nick, right? Yeah. Oh, I accidentally gave oh. you two turns. It's meant to be Nick. It is Nick's turn. Oh, okay. Darn. I could run away. Are the soldiers armed? They are and not actively armed. using their weapons. They are, okay. they are preparing their fists. All right, I look for the most violent one and move to incapacitate it. They are all equally violent. <laughs> <laughs> I look for the closest one. Okay. Um, so that's uh, attacking, or that Josh, uh, Chuck, Kira, Chuck. It's either Tali. Tali. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, sorry, I had the wrong name selected when I rolled. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay. Um, you're punching him, I assume. Yes. Okay. Uh, roll an attack while I find out uh... how other arms attacks work. Uh, no, I mean like I just gotta find the. I mean, unarmed um... attack is basically just a weapon. Also. Yeah. Oh. Actually, just... oh, oh my god. That's unfortunate. That does it say one? <laughs> Um, well, it says five, and then his second I rolled roll. a two and a one. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, well, I, mean, I rolled a two. Does, is he even actually rolling two? Does, does no. he have advantage? I rolled a two. Yeah. Well, even if he did have advantage, it would still be a two, so it wouldn't matter. Well, well you, you do not hit them. You definitely don't hit them. Uh, yeah. You definitely, definitely don't hit them. Um, so, Josh, no, it's actually one of the soldiers' turns. Yeah, it's like four of the soldiers before me. <laughs> the soldier you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, took a swing at is going to swing at you. Man. This is what uh, happens when you don't know your own strength. When do you? Like oh, there. <laughs> he didn't crit on you, but he, he hit you. Um, what did he? What uh? What uh? What's your armor class? Eighteen. Okay, he hit you. Seriously, jeez. Yeah. Um, he deals one damage to you. Okay. I'm <laughs> just rolling one d fours because they're punching each other. Um, that makes, um, makes sense. Yeah, so next it's the guy next to him, I think. Uh, yes, so he's going to do the same thing. Can I just hit up on my keyboard and then... Yep. Mm -hmm. If you have the, the dice okay, roller okay. window up, you can re-roll your previous rolls too. So the next guy does not hit you. And then it is the guy after th he's gonna swing at Nick. Uh, Nick, what's your armor class? Nick. 15. What is it? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So he he swings at you and misses because you I don't know duck I guess. Um, very creative DMing. Uh, the next guy 
to try to take on the big guy. Um, and he's going to take another swing at... At... Uh, Chris here. He's apparently got something to prove. <laughs> he, uh, he actually hits you. And deals one damage. Okay. And then it is Satelli's turn. Right. Satelli is going to cast light. I'm not, not actually too late. You already you already blinked it. <laughs> I was just trying to see what it said. I pressed the wrong button. Um. I was just wanting to see if it had a blind effect. It does. No, no, that's just not flat, dude. No. Yeah, no. Nope. Okay. Um. Wrong game. Although an accuracy debuff for them would be really useful. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, okay, so none of my other abilities are going to be useful here. So, um. Uh, okay, let me quickly make unarmed here just so I can do an unarmed roll. I don't want to impale any of these people with a spear if I don't have to. How much damage will my uh, club do, Stetson? Uh, 1d6, I think. Um, um, that sounds right. Okay, we'll okay. make an we'll attack roll anyway. Um, so the thing I can do is they're just an attack roll button. A club deals 1d4 bludgeoning, or a great club <clears throat> deals 1d8. I'm going to count a table leg uh, for a small character as a great club, but it's only going to deal 1d6. Okay. Yeah, I'm Well, unarmed uh, strike only does one bludgeoning damage. Like it, it doesn't have a damage roll. So um, I'm actually uh... you can try whacking them with the haft of your spear. Yeah, yeah, I can... think that's what I'll do. Um, so would yeah. I roll the same attack roll for that? Yes. This is I, like to to be completely honest. This is the this is uh, the sandbox in which I'm testing combat. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay then. Um, I don't think you hit with that. I don't One think it's like it's a critical fail. Yeah. You actually hit with that. No. Oh, um... It's a critical fail though. Oh. Yeah, that was a one. Oh, that's a one. Um how does that work with advantage and disadvantage though? Um well if I had yeah, advantage I then it would take the thirteen, uh, even if there's a critical fail. But... Right. I'm so otherwise, otherwise it just takes the first roll. Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Okay. okay. Th that's how we were assuming, but obviously that uh, really is up to you. Look into that, but I'll take it. Uh, so roll. So I'm gonna Josh roll. smacks the dude way too hard. Tends to smack a dude with a spear. Actually, skewers him. I'm <laughs> to RIP, guard captain. Sorry. Don't forget, people are standing next to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This can be very interesting in a variety of ways. Um, how, uh, what's the damage roll on your spear? Um, well, I did the two-handed roll, unfortunately. So it's mm -hmm. 1d8 plus 4 piercing. <laughs> Son of a you bitch. You dealt 12 damage to the woman standing next to you. God damn <laughs> When, when uh, people do attack rolls, you can click on the name of their attack, uh, oh, yeah. assuming okay. yeah, steps so, in there, which I don't. Yeah, steps so are easy to work. do that. Since he's GM. Uh, well, you still deal 12 damage to. No, it. that's that takes oh. into account the bonus. That would that be oh, eight. Okay, eight damage. Let me look up the stats for a commoner. <laughs> She's probably still dead. <laughs> um. Uh, no, because uh, you didn't. You didn't. Well, maybe. Oh, it, oh, it depends yeah, on how. Probably just bleeding out. You. <laughs> You dealt enough damage to instantly kill her. <laughs> <laughs> She's not incompatible. She has 4 HP, and the rules for um, for 5e 
are that if you deal a creature's max HP past zero, they die. You have murdered this woman <laughs> with blood force <laughs> trauma. <laughs> Oh. Um, so, as you're swinging the haft of your sword, the young woman goes, No! And she she tries to stop you from, from getting in this fight. And you clobber her in the jaw and break her jaw and essentially kill her. Um, uh, well, I don't have resurrection yet, so that's unfortunate. You know. um, Hopefully she wasn't a father. <laughs> Considering the thing started off with her, you know trying to commit suicide uh oh good <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> um yes so dead god damn uh forest turn <laughs> i moved for the critic ground no um she's already dead you don't yeah that's her. Her. she instantly died <laughs> Uh, this does not look like a place I want to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm a squishy dude. I'm small. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away and then face them. Okay. And then All stand right. there with my crossbow, looking, That's at, attempting to menacingly hit the crossbow. Um, the truth is, I'm five foot six, one hundred and forty pounds. So this guy's, guy's going to rush over. Currently, you are the murderous friend. friend. Uh, yeah, apparently. God, um, I feel popular. <laughs> so they get some sort of trait for... Okay, so yeah, he rolls an advantage. Um... Oh my god, okay, so... <laughs> Jesus Christ, this can't happen twice! Um... Total party wipe? Tim. Oh, did he critically fail? If he critically fails and murders me, I'm gonna be upset. So he... Oh, they're only uh, using fists right now, so... Yes. Thankfully, despite the fact that I just apparently accidentally murdered someone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he... Yeah, he clocks himself in the, the jaw attempting to punch the big guy. <laughs> that is impressive. This man <laughs> steps over the dead body and swings at you. And he misses. And it's now Big Guy's turn. Is the one who clocked himself in the jaw still standing? <laughs> it's all injury one... time. <laughs> He's the one to your left. Right, excuse me. What would I need to roll to attempt to grab both their heads and bash them together? Um that sounds like grappling. Sounds like two you can, grapple checks. Yes, you can roll you can roll two grapple checks, you'll be at advan disadvantage for both. They will have advantage. There's still grapple checks? Where's grapple? It's your athletics or your strength. Whichever one. Athletics? Fantastic. Yeah. Sorry, what does disadvantage mean? You take the uh, instead of taking you the roll higher, two and take the lower one? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well that could have been really good. All right, roll another one. <laughs> wow. Okay. So really? Let's see, let's see what they roll. So, yeah, both of them managed to avoid your, your grasp uh, and disentangle themselves. Well, that's boring. Uh, yeah. Welcome to level uh, one. Next turn is, is uh, excuse me, um, Tim. Okay. Um, so I will step over to... 
this guy and uh, say, I don't suppose you're willing to talk about this. <laughs> he looks down and he's like, what? Can I maybe persuade you to not try and hit people? He attempts to shoo you away. Alright, um... I whack him with my club. <laughs> <laughs> or try to, I suppose. <laughs> A for Roll dice. Um, hold on. So I suppose just strength for the attack roll. Yes. That does not work. Um. All right, and it is. Uh, Josh. Not uh, not Josh. Excuse me. Next turn. Uh. Is Itali still armed? Yes. I move to disarm her. You move to disarm Satali. Yes, so that she does not kill anyone else. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to give you an inspiration point for that, actually. Um, and you are going to roll an advantage. Josh is going to roll at a disadvantage uh, for a grapple check. And that's... Uh, athletics or strength, yeah. whichever one you have. Oh my god! You do not successfully take. Uh, <laughs> it was closer than I would have expected. Rip. Um, but hold on, how does inspiration work again? Um, well, I I will give you an inspiration point uh, for attempting to disarm her. Like, so you can't use it on the the disarm roll, but yes. Um. All right, so now it's this guy's turn. He's gonna swing at Josh. I'm gonna find the. There it is. Uh, ooh, it does not hit. The guy next to him. Whoops. Does not hit. Uh, guy next to Nick is confused because. <laughs> He thought he was fighting Nick, and now he's not so <laughs> sure. Since um, Nick just tried to disarm me, I assume. Is gonna go join and try to beat on the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> and does not hit. Um, and then it's Hitali's turn. Okay. Um... There is still three people around you. I shouldn't... I stepped over the cliff. <laughs> Um, uh, my character is very upset that she just murdered someone that she had previously tried to save. Um, so yeah, actually, I am going to, uh, yeah, no. I'm going to do my best to try and finish resolving this without any more bloodshed. Uh, by whacking this guy with my spear again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the non-stabby bit. <laughs> that was the intent the first time, too. Just going to throw that out there. Um, <laughs> we're going to do this one-handed this time, though. Much better! That is the opposite of what is happened that? last time. Wow. That's a critical okay. success. Uh, yeah, so deal double damage. Don't you have to roll to confirm crits these days? Nope. Oh. The 20 is on the automatic day crit. So you roll the spear and then, like, uh, so it's double the damage, but not double the uh, proficiency bonus or whatever you get for it. According to the bit I read, you double any rolls involved, but not any modifiers. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. At least that's how I remember it. Yes, yeah. that's, that's, that is that correct. Is... Okay. So it'd be... Okay. Um... Well, this might outright kill him, too, then. No, because you're whacking the blunt end. And because you want him. Yeah, the only reason you killed her isn't because she jumped in the way, it's because you 
critically failed. Like if you you okay. can't okay. you know you can't like succeed and then choose to like you can choose to incapacitate or whatever. Well, it's on log damage anyway, thankfully. So so is it two d six for the the. So the spear would normally be 1d6 plus 4, so I rolled 2d6 plus 4. Okay. Uh, since yeah. Tim said you just double your rolls, but not the bonus. Okay, so he has 7 damage. Okay. Uh... After that, it is Forrest's turn. Uh, I'm gonna just keep standing here with my crossbow. Okay. Yep. Uh, it is now one of the guys trying to punch uh, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> and he hits. I almost guarantee he hits. He hits! Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> um, so... There is no 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 no. no. That sounds <laughs> wrong. Twelve d four. Please no. <laughs> okay. I don't think okay. this gets <laughs> that seems better. <laughs> well, you didn't roll a single one of those. In those twelve d four. Yeah. <laughs> Three fours too, and a bunch of threes. Well. Oops. <laughs> uh, what's your armor class again, Josh? 18. Okay, he misses. Um, Alright, big guy. You've got three dudes around you. Up, Do I still roll at a disadvantage if I try to grapple just one of them? If you try to grapple just one? Uh, yes, because you are surrounded by people and they're all going to try to stop. Well, to grab one, no. Uh, at like they're going to you're going to roll at a disadvantage when they try to like let you let, when they try to free him um he's going to roll at, a, at an advantage you're going to roll at a disadvantage but to grab him no you don't need the so if you can grab him and incapacitate him this round you don't need to worry yeah you can german suplex him this round you're good you're good do you get advantage for flanking them like do i have advantage against this guy uh, uh, yes, you would have him. Because my thought was to things. grab just one of them and then swing him in an arc against the other two, okay. and turn him into my weapon. Okay. Especially since I can still lift like another four hundred pounds. Oh my goodness. Uh, make a grapple check and then make another strength check, and you have to beat a DC of sixteen to swing him. Okay, grapple check works. Grapple check works. Are you kidding me? Does that count as beating it or not? No, it's it's if it's, it's DC sixteen, it's sixteen or above, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I swing the dude who hit me last, the guy on the right, and okay, an arc against the other two. You, so when you swing him, you can either swing him to the right or the left. The momentum is going to stop when you hit the other one. Like, I thought you swing him to the left. Agreed. <laughs> to, the left. So I am to his right. <laughs> okay, so oh god, how do I even? Okay, hold on. Uh, how much? Do how you do you even see? Does he count as a great club in my hand? <laughs> you know what? Yes, he counts as a great club in your hand. <laughs> so that was one d eight plus my strength modifier. It is one d eight plus strength modifier to both of them. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Are you oh. fucking kidding me? I suspect they're both unconscious now. <laughs> let me... Let me check. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, they are now over here and very much not conscious anymore. Uh, those weren't actually the two that were involved. It was the... It was the one to the right hitting the one in... Up above him, right yeah, those, in front, those... this north. Wait, okay, so you're swinging this guy? Yep. yep. Into this guy? Yep. Got it. Okay. Because the guy who I was facing <laughs> hit me. <laughs> <laughs> They're now against the wall. Slumped on top of one another in a giant pile of mess. 
<laughs> you guys are welcome. I'm trying to help. I'm pretty crap with a weapon right, that I can't right. use finesse on, though. <laughs> Little guy, your turn. Little gal. This is me. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to keep trying to help, even though this guy doesn't really seem like he needs it. <laughs> I will try to whack this guy. Okay. Roll uh, ad advantage because you're no one's paying attention to you because someone just threw a man <laughs> into another man. And sent them both flying into a wall. Worth it. 13 and actually mm -hmm. beats their armor class. Okay. And I have advantage so I can do a sneak attack. Okay. So, a 2d6 minus 1. Nice. So, 5 damage. 5 damage, okay. Wait, did you say 2d6 plus 1? Minus 1. Oh, minus 1, okay. Because not so good at the strength. That is fair. Okay, um, after that it is uh, Nick's turn again. Alright. Um, I see the despair in... Satelli's eyes and go back to incapacitating that guy. Now that he thinks that you're on his side. <laughs> no, no, that's no, that's the guy that's the guy who came over and started trying to beat him. Yeah, that's the guy you just marked yeah. the club. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, roll uh not at an advantage. Roll it to neutral. Yeah, so whatever your first number is. Okay. You do not hit him. Do not fear, you have not compromised your morals because you have not connected with anyone yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. Um, Alright, so that guy's gonna try there. to hit you. That guy you just, does not hit you. Hit Rolling dexterity, do you not add your proficiency to your melee attacks? I can use dexterity instead of... Yeah, but, I mean, you sh if it's... The attack. I mean, if, if you count as proficient with your melee attacks, which I would think you would, you should be able to add your proficiency bonus, too. Which would be two, so you probably still wouldn't connect. But... Oh, right. right. Hey, Chris, uh, what is your... What is your armor class? 15. Okay, he hits you. Which is probably a bad idea for him. It's okay, I can heal you. Might need that. For up to 6 HP anyway. 3 damage. How many po hit points do you have, Chris? 15, I'm down to 7 now. Oh my god, you've got more than twice as many hit points as I do. <laughs> yeah, he's, right. he's definitely the party tank. Uh, well... He has lower AC than I do, but more HP, so... Alright, so Telly, it's your turn. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just keep whacking away. Cool. <clears throat> okay, you hit. And he is down. Yeah! Um, and it's Forrest's turn, who I assume is not doing anything. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here, conserving my actions. This guy's gonna try to swing at Satelli. You, you, you do know you don't get to save them up, right? You don't Watch get to just case. suddenly <laughs> come out and punch 16 crossbow bolts. I always keep my okay. country, and I don't entirely know this area, so... Oh. This man deals one damage to himself. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> okay, um, and then it is big guy's turn, and the guy just punched you in the back of the head. What do you do? <laughs> I bet I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab him and beat him against the floor. God. Okay. I'm not entirely Roll sure that's non lethal. Athletics. Is that yeah, it's a little weapon? brutal for a bar fight, but... Right. Hold on, hold on. 
I have to... Wow, he actually... He manages to slip beyond your grasp. No way, come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, he rolled the high, the second highest roll he possibly could roll. Um, Lucky SOB. <laughs> uh, all right, it's your turn. Uh, uh, uh Taylor. Te Taylor. I bet you can guess what I'm gonna do. Uh, you're gonna try to smack him in the head. I'm gonna try to smack him in the head. Disadvantage because oh. he's like twice your height. Well, yeah, no. no, no, you're right. I'm totally going for the kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess a nine doesn't connect. Uh, no, 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 it doesn't. Um, so then it is Nick's turn. <sighs> I interesting. Hmm, I don't know. I'm surprised that the monk isn't very good at un like unarmed fighting for some reason. Yeah, well, I don't. I mean, you're rolling. He's getting pretty bad luck with his rolls. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll try to continue some mod lethal fighting here. Try to subdue the chaos. Try to subdue the chaos. Starting with the guy that's standing in front of me. Okay. Yes, that. There oh no, go. that's that's dex save. Oh, it's oh, it's the oh, same oh. thing because it's just his dexterity plus his proficiency, right? So that's but what that, it would no, be it for. No, it should a... be everything. Uh, both of those are too lower. Are, are you? Are you sure? Don't you get your proficiency bonus on? I don't your get. I don't have unarmed proficiency attacks? for unarmed. Really? As a, okay. Uh, uh, I, just, I just assumed as a monk, but maybe you don't get that until you take uh, an archetype. I don't know. Yeah, no, no starting proficiencies are just simple, simple weapons. weapons. No, Short unarmed swords. is a simple weapon. Oh, okay. Yes. So, uh, yeah. No, those, that's... Um, so that also, I've been giving these people monk attacks, apparently. <laughs> They're all trained monks. Uh, but yes, that hits. That connects. Deal damage. Obviously, it's the monk brigade. Ah... <laughs> uh... Yeah, because unarmed strike normally would just do one damage, um, unless you're a monk. Nice. And it's it's plus three because you use dexterity to attack. Yeah, so it'd be seven. Well, you dealt more than half his HP with one punch. They call him Two Punch Man. <laughs> 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 Um, all right, then it is, he's out of the order. It's, it's his turn it's to respond. respond. Yeah, did the guy that Chris slammed into the floor get knocked out or what? I he's didn't still, succeed. No. Oh, that's right, he avoided, yeah. he avoided, that's right. All right, all right, he cannot hit you. Um, he really should just be cowering at this point, but <laughs> <laughs> this guy is... he might just be really impressed with himself for dodging. Uh, he got a six. He's, he's so, he like wriggled out of your grasp and he's kind of like, what the hell happened? Some guy just hit me, some little like kid just hit me with a table leg. <laughs> and he doesn't really attempt to like, hit you. Um, and it's Atelier's turn. Okay. Um. Keep ending the violence by fighting. 
can I? Yeah, well, okay. So since the, uh, since I now know that I'll only kill people if I critically fail, uh, I'm going to go back to two-handed. Hmm. Okay. I don't have advantage, so that probably doesn't hit. Nope. Right. Then it's Forrest, who's not going to do anything, and then it is this guy who's going to respond. I could fire cops but by hitting but you. that probably wouldn't help. He deals one damage because I'm going to start giving them the actual, like, <laughs> damage they should be dealing instead of monk damage. <laughs> Uh, and then it's just, uh, turn again. He could just RP it as their morale is lowered by me knocking So, I want to see him escape this one. <laughs> okay, you grab him. Uh... Maybe throw him into, like, a table or something instead of just pile-driving him into the floor. No, no, no. <laughs> it is the floor. <laughs> okay, so deal, deal 1d4 plus strength damage. How dead is he? Probably not dead. No, yeah, it's only five damage. Uh, yeah, no, he's not dead. Not even unconscious, probably. He should be on the ground now, though. Well, yeah. he is prone. He is prone. Yes. So Tim, um, now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Halfling Tim, being a guy who's you on are, the ground. You are rolling at an advantage versus a guy who's who's defending at a massive disadvantage. Rolling at it, you're rolling at it. She doesn't roll against. <laughs> he doesn't have to have to roll his armor class. Yeah, and he's flat-footed, so that's minus whatever armor. I have to look that up. Hold on. Oh, I think I got him regardless. <laughs> okay. So which uh, of those rolls are you going to use, Tim, since you have advantage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I forgot that... I... I forgot, I forgot the three the, uh, <laughs> tavern music. Three, <laughs> he's still knocked out. Yay! I helped. <laughs> Clobbering the man. Uh, seeing, all right, and as you're, you so know, the gnome like, is starting as, to play music now. Seeing that things aren't yeah. hard gunpowder. As you're fighting, in walks Captain Ateros, and he starts shouting, "What the <laughs> hell is going on here?" <laughs> and he looks over. At the at guys, the guys who are currently on top of one another, and then he looks back at your squad, and he's like, "Someone explain what's happened here." And the soldiers are not cowed, so they're just helping their friends. <laughs> sir, um, just um, solving a minor disagreement, sir, and keeping I order, sir. and take full responsibility. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I let this happen. I go you over. You did all of this. I go over and take full responsibility. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Which one of you did this? I leave and let them take full responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't the massive mountain that you guys brought with you? Well, he's responsible, he's responsible for, for uh, some of the uh, unconscious, unconscious people, people, but, but uh, this all just this resulted all just from me missing this. I go over to the two I knocked out and put one foot on top of them in Conquest. <laughs> I, I've not seen this kind of fight, like this, this kind of destruction <laughs> in, in years. I have a very special uh, punishment for you guys. Shit. All right, all right. And then, and then we're going to break here for about 10, 15, 20 minutes while I go have a cigarette and... Do some stuff. Okay. So, um, as he's standing there, um, as you are all standing there, apparently some people are outside of the inn somehow. Oh, I'm sorry. Fiddling around. Uh, he calls for more guards, and um, oh, more shit, and more guards. So that <laughs> the other, the other, um. Eight or nine guards that they have left here, um, all come. I will say that he, he, like, he did say he had a battalion of ten left earlier. Ten of the original, yes. Um, they have since recruited other less good guards. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, 
so he uh, he's like take them to the holding cell and so I assume you guys uh, what do you guys what is your response to the to that uh, I go along with it as do I yeah. I didn't do anything I was just <laughs> standing here in the bar <laughs> I vouch for Can I roll persuasion okay Okay. So, he's convinced you're not part of the problem. So that means we'll you be like short to a... <laughs> uh, I'm already kind of standing here. You can hide behind medium character, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't there... I thought you said there were like eight, ten guards in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. Okay. No, yeah, I yeah. Will. Um, I will not risk that. <laughs> One second. I have to finish the last bite of my McBang Bang. I'm glad that's part of the recording. <laughs> Can confirm. Man, I told myself I'd be good. Hmm. You should not bring a straw. This is a problem. I am a soldier, though. Straw. Go ahead and the soldier, so I may be able to get you guys out. You're a soldier? Yeah, yeah. it's the same as, as you. Okay. So, everyone, everyone except for, um, any Alice, uh, is taken to a holding cell, um, where they are held overnight. Look at, look at my amazing holding cell. That, that was actually really impressive. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Yeah, it was. I, I'm impressed. Next day, the captain walks in and says, All right, tell me the side. Tell me your side. Um. Well, basically, I was just trying to uh, make some friends with the. Uh, soldiers get some advice and I was getting ready to leave and rejoin my comrades I tapped uh, one of the soldiers a bit too hard on the shoulder he fell into one of his friends spilled beer tensions rose and everything just kind of spiraled downhill from there next thing I knew uh, tall dark and uh, tall here was uh, throwing guys into walls uh, yeah, things were just not going well. So, sorry. There's a young woman in a coma with a really nasty, <laughs> nasty bruise on her jaw. <laughs> She's not dead? <laughs> I look very Barely. Dead. Um, I am actually a healer. I could mm. help uh, with that. You may as well, since dead. you caused it. And you, big guy. Did you really throw someone across the inn? Yes, I did. Two someone's. At the same time. I swung one into the other. I'm assuming you seem very proud of that he fact. Looks, he looks I thoughtful am. for a second. Almost like he's chewing on something. Is it tobacco? He wants a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that was now. a good option here. Man, I'll and in walks, um, a friendly face. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, I I mm -hmm. I've told the 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 captain here everything. 
Especially about how that big hulking man of a man over there threw two people into two into the wall. Yep, I think someone has a crush on you. <laughs> um, speaking of which, I could really use you for more experiments. I'd really rather not. That's fine, that's fine. Um, when Captain turns to you guys and says, Well, yeah, he did. He did tell me my guys acted a little rashly. The reason I wanted to gather everyone is because I was very impressed with the level of destruction you managed to cause in the period of about five minutes. <laughs> So now that that uh, half that fellow, fellow was he, was he in on this? this so, can you repeat that? Sorry, let's put back up. Okay, go ahead, Tim. Oh, I was gonna say. So you're impressed? So you're gonna let us out? Mm, not quite. You see, there's been some incidents recently with one of our. Um, more remote outposts. When I say incidents, I mean everyone's been killed. Um, and I would very much like to find out who or what has been killing them. Uh, and seeing as you guys were able to take out all of my trained men, I think it might not be a bad idea for you guys to, to help me with this task. Hard to argue with that logic. Mostly because we're in a holding cell, but yes. I mean, the other option is to stay here, um, in the holding cell. Yeah, that's kind of what I gathered. So in that case, that sounds like a great idea, sir. So we're all in agreement then? Very well. Sure. Seems that way. I give him a smile with a glint in my eye. Alright. The four of us, um, the five of us, rather, the four of you plus myself, will head out in the morning. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm bringing some gruel for you. And enjoy your, uh, your night here. Um, if I might make a suggestion, sir, um, there was that uh, elfin fellow who was with us. Well, he didn't participate. He did seem to be watching things very closely and had his uh, crossbow ready. He might not be a bad choice either. He seems to have a pretty good eye. Um, good point. All of the guards collect him and bring him into the cell as well. <laughs> Sorry, one second. <clears throat> so, um, I, uh, he he winks, but like it's he was not actually gonna bring him in to the cell, um, because oh. clearly he's the most couth of everyone here, and is not going around destroying bars. <laughs> um, destroying you guys... bar. You know the people in it. Do you guys want to use your time in the holding cell tonight to speak? Um, or pass the night in silence? Um, that's how you get to the more vocal people in the park. Maybe do some talking. Particularly did big guy here who did such a good job of being an obvious target that I never got hit. <laughs> You're welcome. So that was, uh, that was some pretty good teamwork, huh? I helped a little, right? Sure. Sure you did. Rude. <laughs> I unfortunately did not see any of that because my back was too that entire altercation most of the time. 
the only thing I really saw was a couple of guys go flying past out of the uh, corner of my eye. I see you. Okay. All right, all right, we're done talking. Now, GM is finishing his beer. His beer. Um, his beer. His um. His meal. And you guys pass the rest of the night in relative silence. Um, and actually, some level of comfort because it is warm and uh, <coughs> there are beds in the cell. That you One can't thing see I right do now. do uh, before we take a long rest for the night uh, is heal myself and uh, big guy over here. Josh said doo doo. <laughs> what? Oh. He said doo doo. <laughs> Making mature people's noises. I, I see that, yes. Um, I cannot heal uh, big guy okay. over here if you want, but. Yeah, so I do Make that. your rolls. Uh, I don't have to. I just heal. Oh, is it a flat number? Yep, yep. yeah. So yeah. it's. Uh, yeah. I can heal six hit points at uh, level one. So, uh, I heal three hit points for okay. big guy and two for myself, so we're both back at full health. Okay. And that recharges over a long rest, which I'm assuming we're getting for a full night's sleep. Okay. Well. Morning rolls around. <laughs> You're collected by the captain, um, who has also reached out to um, Anialis and asked, if you would like to join them on this adventure. Uh, what's in it for me? Um, glory, maybe some extra food rations when you get back. Eh, good enough. <laughs> the things people do um, when the other option is splitting the party and not actually getting to participate in any concert. <laughs> I like food. So, <clears throat> I'll load my extra ration privileges over you guys. <laughs> Adaros brings you all through the jungle, like, walks you to the edge of the jungle and says, This is where we're going in. And Adaros is actually going to accompany you for this. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> and so, he is. Um. Uh, capable if a little bit old, aging warrior um, but you start cutting your way through the jungle until you reach what appears to be a path or at least the brush is cut down slightly um, let me actually put you all now when you're walking have you formed some sort of order say like a marching order um behind the big guy. <laughs> yeah, why don't we do a front and rear guard? I'll take up the rear so that we have uh, the squishy people in the middle. Okay. The big so bell is in front. Sounds good. I kind of figured that would be the case. <laughs> All right. right. How do you three want to organize yourself? I'll be in the middle, but slightly off file of everyone else. Um, I'll be the safest place. I don't know. <laughs> Is that a cart? Can I sit on the cart? <laughs> There's no cart. Are we taking into account Adaros's position in this as well? Hmm. Adaros is in front. Okay. Ooh, let's just set our, let's just set ourselves up in the like on the screen. That would be a good idea. How how we are traveling. Um Okay. One second while I grab Adaros from the assets. 
He's still there on the bottom left. Still here. This looks like he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, right. and, and then you guys, guys are We're currently here to see a branching path. Don't forget you have to give us permissions. Yeah. Which direction do you choose? Hmm? We have to move characters. Mm. If you want, you could just. Because currently just I'm at the back, and I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can just, we can just drag ours. How many draggers? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Sheet. Just drag the name in um, under your journal. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Since Nick's walking off center. Or the lovers, rather. Yeah, ignore the squares. <clears throat> ignore the squares. They should snap too, but like we can we're gonna use the ruler to draw okay. distance. And I am going to as it what else would I be able to hide among trees and foliage on the sides? Is that an ability? I don't actually know. Uh, I mean, hide or stealth mask mask in the wild. wild. Oh. Which I can Link attempt to hide. Link it in chat. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. So is that a stealth roll? What is it? Presumably. Just as I can attempt to hide, and there's no hide rule. So yeah, I'd be sad. Yeah, be sad. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yep. You succeed. <laughs> okay. I am hiding. I am not, because I have chainmail armor. <laughs> Does anybody else would like to make a hide trick? Yeah, I suppose my character will try. She's quite uncomfortable being out this year. I will as well. Er, actually, uh, 12, because I have expertise in it, but that's still not very great. Um, Jesus. Okay, so everyone's currently like ramboing through the woods except for the armored people. Nice. Um, um, what's the light so level who, here? Um, I it's pretty bright. It's okay. it's the middle of the day, so it's not very dark. So it's not like a. Um, there's still shade. It's not yeah. like a full covering forest canopy then. Right. <laughs> right. Mm. Okay. Pardon me. Oh, so, okay. Which uh, direction would you like to go? Doesn't he know which way we're going? Yeah, I would assume we're following the captain here. Yeah. Does he not know which way okay, we're okay. going? Okay. Is the captain lost? No, he's. <laughs> no, he knows where he's like he he's knows the general area, but you guys are still searching. Like um, he doesn't know I can, exactly. I will go ahead. This okay. way, and stay hidden and scope out up here. Okay. okay. Well, f oh, I will follow along. Monks seem to have a pretty good sense of stuff back in the bar, so. I'm in trouble. Right. Tree to tree. <laughs> um. 
So would you like to continue to move forward? Yeah. Presumably. Seems like the best option. And we're presumably Adaros is still going first, so. Right, he's in the crew of people who are those look like things. <laughs> so off in the distance, uh, Nick, you spot scaly men armed with uh, obsidian spears. That was one of our three tips from the soldiers. Avoid, avoid. Yeah, our, our, things with the spears. Our very our helpful very tips helpful. not to get attacked by anything. <laughs> Alright, so I report back. Okay. So, Adaros is like, let's kill them. Uh, let's just slaughter them. I've got some experience fighting these guys. Like, how do you respond? Um, I ask if he's, if they've, in their entire history here, ever tried to, like, communicate with them? Like, would there be an opportunity here to try it? open a dialogue with wizard creatures who probably don't speak our language. Sets him just die. I'm guessing he's looking up. Oh, oh sorry, no, I forgot oh. to push my button. <laughs> um, he says, you know, like, no one knows the language. I don't know how you'll communicate with them, but you can certainly try. Okay. I will go out first alone and try and make that attempt. Okay. Um, um, everyone else is going to kind of stay out of line of sight right now. So I will stay hidden. Yep. <laughs> first, it's like, fuck. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so presumably they can see me here? Yes. Um, uh, in the minute they see you, they all take like a defensive stance and are like Raksha! and they point to the ground okay so presumably um, they're telling me to drop my weapon so I put my spear and shield on the ground and raise my hands um, and try to um, communicate uh, as best I can uh, that um, my intentions are peaceful uh, while also trying best I can to in, as we're hopefully having a dialogue interpret their language so they've lowered their spears a little but they don't they're wary to approach you Okay. Um, and don't seem to really understand anything that you're saying um While Josh, she's doing this, can I scout up the other path that we didn't explore? Uh, sure. Yeah, I grow two groups of enemies at once, we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot. Uh, how much to go about this? Um, um, can I make some sort of, like, insight or maybe just like a general history check to try and uh, determine how first contact with new species has been handled in the past. Okay. Um, one second. I have to roll for Nick. Uh, give me a second here. <laughs> that looks yeah, not Nick. promising. <laughs> I have to look up their uh, stats. What is their perception? Okay. Um, yeah, they don't. They don't seem to hear you. See you, Nick. Um. So. Uh, you know. Well, I mean, roll a history check or a intelligence check, whichever one is higher. Uh, yes, roughly. 
Well, thank God I don't have disadvantage. <laughs> mm. You know that there is some history of, of like very bloody conflict, especially when um, like races were first introduced. Um, there have been races that have been entirely wiped out by first contact. Um, it's very rare that two species that meet have um, historically been peaceful. Well, shit. Um, okay, well, let's go for a magic show. Um... Okay. <laughs> this is... I'm going to hope that these people are not, like, hugely intelligent. Um... That's another good question. Yeah, actually, can I make an insight check to see if I think they're, like, gauge their intelligence, basically? Yeah, um, you can do that. Okay. Before I do this. Okay. Um... One second. Oh, 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 I'm like I'm like multitasking right now. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, look, Patriots beat the Titans. Surprise. <clears throat> um. So these people are. They are like they they clearly have like communication. They clearly are able to speak, mm -hmm. on some level. Um, where they are is currently pulling up on D&D Wiki. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. I'm just going to Google where would this intelligent thing land. Because, like, if they're, like, if they're roughly tribal level, there's a chance that this might work. But if they're, like medieval or above or like if they have any decent knowledge of how magic works. Oh, there it is somewhere. Uh, then it might not, so if I can gauge that at all. Okay. Um Wait. so intelligence So I would I would put them at, you know, late uh, tribal, okay. sort of tool making, uh, or, or like like uh, more more like complex tool making um, level. Okay. Um, in that case, yeah, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm basically gonna try and pull a C3PO here. Um, so I'm gonna cast okay. uh, light on my armor. So I'm just gonna kind of touch my chest. Uh, so my armor now, um, basically my my body, uh, essentially, is now glowing with a uh, light blue light. Okay. Um, um, and basically I'm going to try and convince yeah. them, like, hopefully this will, like, make them think I'm some sort of deity. Uh, is what I'm going for with this. So probably some sort okay. of pers persuasion check in there. Okay. Um... Yes, go ahead, um, with the persuasion check. Oh, balls. Okay, well. Okay, um, so they're sufficiently frightened, um, <laughs> and spooked by your armor, and in response, they flee. Um, and okay. when they flee, they- Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> uh. So... When they flee, they blow on a horn, and Son of a bitch. this like I quickly reach for uh, the weapons that I put on the ground. Okay, um, yeah, they start blowing on a horn, and and it makes a very strange like guttural noise. Um, what does the party do in response to this horn? Oh wait, uh, the tune's not back yet. We should probably open. Uh, okay, how much of that did you catch? Okay. Uh, I think most of it. 
I turn back and watch the two things up here? I have a minor freak out and look frantically in every direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I okay, attempt so... to climb a tree. <laughs> so, when they blow the horn, these lizards look very alarmed, and then leave. They go <laughs> oh, the that's direction. even worse. <laughs> um... um yeah, the hobbit I, defense is starting it, it, to look pretty good. I back up um, some adjacent <laughs> Captain Ederos and ask him what he thinks that was, if they've like ever encountered that before. Ederos has... Um, I also uh, his eyes my light have gone wide. Yeah, his eyes have gone very wide, and he's not entirely sure, but you guys start to hear a thud. Thud. Um, which direction is it coming from? It is coming from the, the direction that the creatures that fled in. Yeah, okay. I vote um, we go the other direction. Okay. So which, which creatures? The ones that uh, Nick was watching or the ones that I was talking to? The ones that you were talking to. Okay, yeah, I vote we go the direction Nick was facing. And follow those creatures. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright, all right. so, so I'm, I'm gonna... I have to... Un, I have to refog this area then I'll assume that uh, Chris is still taking up the front slot after Captain Adara am I uh, still yes. um, hidden yes you haven't left your hidden no, spot as far as you know um so, do you guys continue forward in this direction? Um, my thought would be that we want to go away from whatever that thud is, so I would say yes. Um, if the okay. okay. And if we see a compelling reason not to, yeah, yeah, I would think we would stop, go straight into forest fire. Thank you. Right. No. Obviously. Yeah. Um, so you guys are going to continue this direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nick's still scared as, run... as best as possible. <clears throat> I should have you guys be rolling perception checks for this, um, which is something I'll have to remember for next time. Um, you spot a another lizard band, this time with a small... Uh, yes, yes, I'll move you. Move you up front. Um, next to a small, uh, like, bird-like, uh, creature with large, uh, talons. A dragon? No, there are no wings. Um, do they appear to be aware of us? Not yet, no. Uh, rounding the corner... We'll make them aware. Uh, uh, what's the thing behind us doing? Can we hear that? If we can yeah, the the thuds have stopped. The thuds have stopped? Yeah. I'm not sure I feel about that. <laughs> Somebody want to go check? No. Yeah. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Okay. Tim has uh... yourself. Where's the farthest that I can go? Am I just in theory going you until? I mean, you want Taylor? Taylor has me off though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you want to go back into like, uh, the where you were to find out if something's there? I'll stay right here. <laughs> um, how do cantrips explore that area? Up? So, like, can you cast cantrips multiple times without, like, worrying about spell slots or anything? Uh, are you asking me? Uh, no, cantrips are just zero level spells. Or one yeah. first level spells, I can't remember. It's just another name for them. So, if I'm right here, what can I see? Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, you'd see. Mm -hmm. 
a giant frog. Okay. Check for the time. Keep in mind that you guys are here to the raids that have been coming from this area. Uh, so we're probably supposed to fight something at some point. Do we have any information about the, what the raids are cost though? Everybody um, died. So. If I maybe I don't know. What can what can I see if I turn so that I'm facing northwest? You can see ooh, a like area which has walls here. That's promising. I'm not, uh, I'm not moving, but if, would I be able to come up this way? Which way? And get in? You could sneak right next to the wall. Um, there's still, like, there's less cover there, so you can't hide it. No, you can't hide in the, you have to hide in the woods. <laughs> there's no woods there. You'd have to roll a new sneak. Let's say we kick these lizards asses butts. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying, uh, I'm trying to go. I think trying to go forward here is the, the best option. So, unless somebody wants to try talking to these guys, yeah, I think we're going to come back. Well, I could try scaring them away again. So you want to yeah, try playing God that. again? I mean, probably not, because I don't actually want them to summon another giant frog. So. <laughs> Is there a way that I could roll um, perception and get a sense if they are actively hostile? Or if they're going to be like what Josh encountered earlier. Uh, yeah, you can roll perception check to see if, like, get a sense of what they might be like, yeah. Wow. Okay, so, uh, oh, there's only 16. There's still 20, but, like, um, these men are clearly clad, like, this fellow, unlike the other fellows, um, is, fellow? is clearly clad in more armor, and is, uh, holding the spear much more confidently, and appears to be, um, guiding this small creature that is with, um, with, uh, a lot more confidence. So playing God probably would not work here. The tracker. You could you could almost draw a conclusion between this and like a bloodhound or something like a dog. The yes. Tracker. So he probably has ways to contact Alice. So if we're gonna get him, we have to get him quickly. The um the creature Range people looks kick it off like this. Uh no, that's got the name literally in the Okay, so that one's not gonna work. Well it's a small feathery thing with like sharp teeth and, and two like curved talons. How big? Basically. Um but yeah, uh would you guys like how would you guys like to approach this? I think uh, if we're gonna do this, a sneak attack. Also, the, 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 the. I don't know. There is a way um, to sneak the four out. Four-legged lizard is actually. Is actually. 
there's underbrush, there's ways to sneak around that, like, don't necessarily require you to stay in a tr tree. Um, so yes, it is possible. Well, I can lead a... Maybe I can see them so I can shoot from here. Presumably. Yeah. There's some rocky outcroppings, but yeah, you can probably shoot them. No, what we're gonna do? I'm not gonna try to talk to these guys. No, I think we should shoot Murder first. away. I think it's... I'm gonna shoot the little lizard, because I can actually see it. Okay, um, and it's, again, like, it's, uh, you're, so you're shooting the guy with the spear, or the, the, so it's, so it's, it's not, not really a lizard, it's, it's got it's two bird legs, thing. Not, it's not, bird thing. No, no. So you describe it, it's raptor. I'm not saying yes or no, because you wouldn't know that. Um. Okay, I'm shooting it, I'm shooting it. Here we go. Shooting it. Okay. Okay. Nice. How do I shoot? That's how I shoot. Should I assume 17 hits? Okay, okay. 23 um, You probably give me one second. <laughs> I don't actually know because I have to pull up the, the, the source material and everything's running very slowly on my computer. Wait, you rolled a 23? I almost guarantee you that that hits. If it doesn't hit, did, did, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> no, I rolled a 16. Okay, yeah, that, that does hit. I do 10 damage. Okay, okay. Um, um, the, creature the creature is, is shot, shot in the side. side. 11, it is 11, very, very much staggering. And then Forest rolled a 17. Forest rolled a 17 on the same creature? Yeah. Okay, roll damage. Five. Okay, so this creature is stuck with two bolts and it is very, very, very not in a good way right now. <laughs> um, it is, yeah, it's not very, not very happy about that. The, um, the other creature is sensing that its pet is currently uh, pincushion, like, raises its spear uh, and rolls perception to see if it can find... Well, I feel like it, it's going to start running towards those arrows and it's going to find the guys around the corner anyway. Um, so, yeah, roll for an Yeah, there are definitely three people right around the corner who are not lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, do we need yeah. uh do we need the turn tracker up? Too bad. Too late now, it's just one of those rules, so oh. <laughs> Uh I don't know what this guy's initiative is what is initi is it dexterity? Yeah. Well I can tell you that okay. uh Dick is going first on our team. <laughs> Oh, uh, do we hear drums? Or do we hear booming? No, it stopped a while ago. Oh dear. Oh, that's good. Okay, that thing's going first. Um. Uh... Taylor and Nick will have to re-roll to determine which of them is going first. Okay, who, uh, who's going first in you guys' team? Uh, Nick. Alaris. 18. And who's then it's your other creature. After? 
Okay. And then Enialis. And then Satali. And then okay. Taylor and Nope Tides, they have to reroll. Taylor. So Nope goes last. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nope's actually pacifist. <laughs> Very That's cool. why he was hurling people at each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he wasn't hurling them into X's, so. Um. Alright, so. Alright, uh, the creature is going to run directly at. Uh. Whoever dealt it most damage, which I think was Taylor. I assume it can make it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's got a speed of 50 feet. It can make it. So it rushes at Dilla and strikes at me. Uh, plus five. Uh, what's your armor class? Taylor? Tim? Hello? 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 Can anyone hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Tim? It's computer crash. Uh, I think we've noticed by now if it had since the middle of the disconnect thing. Chris said he's going AFK. Yeah, I mean, he's last in the order, though. Sorry, I got to. Uh... And problem, girl. girl. What's. Uh, no. What's it? Need your AC. Uh, so you're. you're <coughs> 16. Uh, AC. Alright, 16. Uh, uh, does. Does scratch you. Scratches you for uh, 1d6 plus 3. What shit? <laughs> oh, scratch. That could literally kill him. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I was going. Oops. <laughs> That's not how that worked. Eight. I'm unconscious. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> mm. Alright, um, so, I was going to give you guys three health potions apiece from Livius, and I completely forgot, um, I am not trying to, like, retcon something right now, uh, I was too busy with my McDonald's, um, but you do, you have, um, you have three cure light wounds, okay. uh, potions of cure light wounds apiece. Okay. All right, Nick, it is your turn. All right. I'm back. Hi. I might Welcome have back. Tim. Yeah, Tim's unconscious. Chris, by the way, you said something forgot to give us three. I heard that. I okay. had my headset on the whole time. Oh, okay. I gotta give me a wireless headset. That sounds awesome. Um, well, I don't really want to punch these things. Because <laughs> of course you don't. <laughs> so I'm going to... Watch a potion? You could shove a potion of Cure Light Wounds down uh, Tim's throat. I could. <laughs> I didn't let you take one off. So, 
the way you stabilize in this is you have to get successes before three failures. Um, so you continue to roll each turn until you get either three successes or three failures. Well, yeah, but presumably if someone heals him first, then that's kind of important. Right, yeah. So I could heal Tim? Mm, do you have a healing move? He has a potion of cure light wounds. You can attempt to pour that down his throat while a creature is ripping his face off, yes. Uh, no. Uh, I'm not but you do might that. have to, to attack the creature first. Yep, I'm not going to do that. So I think I'm going to try and stay hidden, but explore the backside of those walls that I saw earlier. While that creature is distracted with everyone else. <laughs> I take like, can I... Okay. Not terribly Poor pleased. Taylor. Alright, um, Lizard Guy's turn. Lizard Guy is going to come around the corner here and attack. Oh, Jesus. Attack Captain. Um, Called it. <laughs> Captain's gonna get murdered. I have to. <laughs> yeah, but he's gonna be killed by you. He's gonna be killed by me. I've already used my critical fail for the day. That's how that works. Okay, AC. Got it. Yeah. Wait, what is this on hit? I don't even remember. I, you were asking the wrong people. Mm, plus four. I mean, you didn't hear that. Okay, it does not manage to hit Captain Adderall successfully. Um, Forrest, your turn. Um, I'm gonna load my crossbow. Is that a full action? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it just means you can only fire it up. once per turn. It doesn't... Oh, okay. Okay, then I fire my crossbow to bring mine to his face off. <laughs> okay. Um, you do not hit it. You don't hit it. Oh. Tim would probably still appreciate the um, effort where he conscious. Or she, rather. <laughs> Alright, uh, Sid Pelly, it's your turn. Boop. Um... Okay, uh, my perception was that this thing is not terribly healthy currently because it's pincushioned. Um... So I'm going to... Uh, you... what, it doesn't look in a good way, no. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to whack it with my spear, and by whack I mean stab. And I'm going to crit, apparently. Um, Holy shit, okay. So, rip. <laughs> and this... Does that actually take that? No, it doesn't take that into account, so I need to do another D8. So, yes. Oh, wait. So you already have 14 damage on it. Uh, and you need it's to dead, add another Jim. D8. Well, don't you just well, double the one you just... rolled? Something's weird no, here, though, because they... I rolled a 1d8, but it has... Oh, no, it does. Yeah, it does have that. That's what the plus 5 is. So I rolled a 5 plus a 4, which is 9, and then the other 5 mm. doubled the uh, other d8. So yeah, that is the that is the damage there. So it's 14. Okay, so you you, gri you grab, grasp... You boom, boom. You grasp your spear in two hands and swing it like a golf club, and the creature <laughs> flies through the air and impales itself on a branch, and is now very much dead. Nice. I have not used a spear for its intended use at all this session. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, if you could roll a d20 uh, plus constitution, is that what the... Saving throw is? Um... For what? For death. Uh, for, like, to stabilize. Oh. It's con plus... 
Actually, is there just a thing on your character sheet? Apparently you can just click death save? Yeah, just click the death yeah. save at the bottom there. What what constitutes a failure? Uh, that's what I'm looking up. Um, is it... Or a success for that matter, actually, because he needs one of each. Or well, he needs three successes. DC ten on a DC twenty. Okay. Okay, so you do you have one success. Nice. Which is good because you need three successes before you get the failures. Uh, so essentially, you have a fifty percent chance of reviving any time you go down. Assuming um, you don't have any bonus to whatever save that is. Right. All right. Um. Whose turn is it next? Oh, big guy. If I move behind Purple Lizard, do I get an advantage on my attack? Yes. It does not provoke an attack of opportunity because the attack of opportunity only affects if you move out of or you move to move out of range. It's kind of strange. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna try and hit it with my great sword. Okay, try and hit it with your great sword. Well, wow. what the fuck? <laughs> Critical wow, fail okay. either way. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> What is uh what is your um greatsword damage? Uh two D six plus four strength. When you just you can just roll the damage. There. Yeah, thirteen damage. Alright, nope, you take fifteen damage. <laughs> he did you... I'm an arrow. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Uh, so you raise the axe over your head and proceed to drop it on your head. sword. Sword, fantastic. Yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the cat calls for another beer. Swing now. Uh, if he gets a beer, I want a beer. Um. <laughs> Uh, and Adoras does actually hit, uh, the, the lizard folk. Um, who is now very distraught over his raptor's death. Um, he deals... He deals four damage to it. <laughs> okay, um, after that, it, the raptor is dead. He does not make any more turns. After that, it is Nick's turn. Uh, I accidentally uh, skipped you, Nick, but it is your turn. Uh, before continuing on, I turn back around to survey what, what has happened. Okay. Make sure no one is... Dying. Um, no. <laughs> and, <laughs> and what Only I half the party. Please me. <laughs> and again, I don't really want to punch people. So I'm... The, uh... The lizard folk is currently focused on, on Adorus, so... So I'm gonna sneak behind... You are going to evoke an act of opportunity from the lizard man if you try to... to... Well, no, because... You never you don't enter a threatened square. I think you can do that, like, um... Yeah, I mean, he can circle Christ. around it as long as he's... As long as it, the route takes him less than 30 feet, which it should. At uh, range. 35. Okay. Yeah, still. Right, okay. Yeah, so you can you can go around without ever touching... The lizard person. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be easily less than thirty-five feet. How are you guys getting the arrows? Uh, on the left. It's the ruler. The, yeah, you click the ruler there, and then just click and drag, and then go back to your mouse to select. Tim, don't roll a one on your uh, death saving throw. Counts as two failures. Oh, shit. But on okay, a twenty, so you can... regain one hit point. 
I, I can't. I have lucky, so I can reroll a fail on the saving throw. Nice. Ooh, Ooh nice. So I, I can. Or sorry, critical fail. I can help Chris. Yep. You can help Chris. Yes. Sorry, I shouldn't speak to the DM. But yes. Okay. Well, I guess I'm no longer hidden, right? That is correct. I help Chris. I give. Okay. Potion of cure life wounds. Um, let's look that up early. Yeah, isn't it? It's potion of healing now, or something, isn't it? No, there is. It is cure light wounds. Um, well, there's a spell called cure light wounds. So a potion of cure light wounds would just be a potion of that spell effect. Uh. So I thought that was. Did I see that now? There it is. Cure. No, when you Google. When you Google Cure Light Wounds Potion in 5e, it just immediately takes you to Potion of Healing. Okay, fair enough. I was looking at Cure Wounds, so... Okay. What is that? Alright, so it's 2B, 2d4 plus 2. You heal him for 7. Thank you, Nag. It's half his health. And take one cure light wounds off of your thing. Okay. Alright. Now it's the lizard guy's turn. He's gonna try to hit uh Alar no, Adorus. Everyone's got the same fucking name. <laughs> uh hey, you named that one, so I don't think he succeeds. Yeah, he doesn't succeed. Um it is now uh, any all of us's turn. Alright, I'm gonna fire my crossbow out of here. Okay, you don't hit him. Uh, it is now Sapelli's turn. Okay. Um, seeing that that lizard is busy, I am going to. Um, use my, uh, let's see, yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna use my, uh, lay on hands and, uh, give Tim six hit points. Yeah, six hit points. Okay. That's my magic exhausted for the day. I hope so do more, like, cantrips. Alright, it is now Tim's turn again. Alrighty. Um, so I'm going to try and shoot this guy with the crossbow. I cannot select my character. Uh, do you have ruler selected? No. Yes, try now. Try. <laughs> no, I, I did. Sorry, I was lying. Um, uh, in... So the, uh, the player's handbook says the, uh, I don't need advantage for a sneak attack if uh, the target has an enemy within five feet of it. Okay, yeah, you've got multiple targets within five feet of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna try a sneak attack. Oh, uh, well, that was really, that was really unfortunate, well. Um, alright, Chris, you're back from the, or excuse me, nope, you're back from the dead. What do you do? That looks like a, uh, 26, and I have advantage, right? Uh, yes. That actually looks like a natural 20, and you have advantage. Uh, yep. So that would be a crit. So, 23 damage. That is painful. Fucking <laughs> kidding me? Your old max damage on his, uh, his main swing. Wow, dude. Okay, so, uh, you swing your axe down in a violent curve after roaring back to life, uh, in a guttural howl, and your axe embeds 
deeply into the top of this lizard man's skull. Sword. Uh, so deeply that the uh, sword, the sword, uh, goes with it when it falls to the ground. And you have a little bit of trouble yanking it back out. When he does, does it kind of you one hit, you one hit the fucking lizard. You guys, I hope that makes up for hitting myself in the face. <laughs> 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 Okay. Critical fail to a critical success. Seems like a good trade. Alright, so he's right. these bodies. Uh, what do you do? Alright, I am still consumed by the curiosity of these walls, so I need to go explore. <laughs> okay. Kind of follow, just like, keep an eye on him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna are examine you sneaking? these bodies. You're not, you're not sneaking. Are you, okay, At this so point, I'm not sneaking the bodies. Anymore. I'm going to contemplate my near demise. <laughs> okay. um, so as you approach the walls, you see this, essentially. So what this is, is uh, you see like a hole over here um, in which families of lizard people are coming in and out. Small versions of the lizard people are, are seemingly playing with each other. Um, and... Uh, you can even see some eggs in the the hole over here in the the ground. We're about to commit genocide, aren't we? Um, but no one else can see that at this point. Uh, slash m m and then like type out your email. What like? So if you wanted to say Nick is doing something, you'd slash uh, slash e m is doing something. Um, but immediately upon seeing you, uh, because you're not sneaking, the, uh, the lizard people and their little children start running towards the cave, and you hear a very familiar horn. Yeah, and which the rest of your party, they can't see you, like, walking into this village, can hear the horn that was just sounded. Really? I can't see Nick walking in there from where I am? Okay, you can see where Nick was. Um... I mean, the only problem is, is that the, the size of this map is a little deceiving. Like, try to imagine this is larger and this is this is larger, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, it's, it's distorted. Oopsie wobbly. Anyway, uh... So, on the lizard's man's body, um, you... See some leather armor, and then you also see uh, a, a um, an onyx or what? Uh, obsidian. What is this? Obsidian. Thank you. Obsidian short sword. Is that all? That is pretty much it. Yes. Not really sure what you're right. Hey. Can I make a? Uh... Perception check. See if he gets anything else on. Sure. Okay, you find like a couple gold nugget chunks. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, some very very small gold nugget chunks in a pouch, along with some teeth and feathers. <laughs> nice. And he's essentially naked. So. Okay. Okay. And when I'm, the drum is sounding. All right, I do return back. Okay, so what exactly is our okay. objective here? Uh, just to re-clarify. Uh, your objective is to stop the raids that have been happening on the uh, on the the camps. Okay. Um, I tell the captain that it looks like uh, there's a village in that direction. I didn't see much of it from my angle, but uh, there definitely seem to be some wall structures, so that might be where the raids are coming from. And I confirm the village. 
Okay. Um, yeah, but you know, like, uh, when, as you're leaving, you hear the, the, thud, thud, thud. Okay. Well, I mean, that's his... Um, Adoras wants to go in. Uh, Adoras would like to go in, uh, and explore. What are, what are you, how, he turns to the group and says, we're going in, we have to find out exactly what's happening, if we can stop it here, we stop it here. I discourage him, I think it's a terrible idea. I think we just need to go. Okay. Um, uh, anyone I, else? I also try and discourage him, but, uh, admit that we don't really have much choice in the matter. If he goes, then, you know. can't exactly go back to uh, camp without him, because, you know. Yeah, Just our camp uh, is more worried about the thudding noises. Yeah, yeah. and I, I do mention that as well, like, that doesn't sound like something we want to fight. Alright, um, uh, Adoras would like to, it, Adoras is adamant <laughs> about going in uh, and fixing this problem right here. Well, he's probably not going to be very nice to us unless we help him, so. We'll probably be dead if we don't help him. You just want your extra rations. Yeah. I'd like a bed, too. I will support Alright, um. Once he enters the camp, he, you see a familiar face. My face. Well, Nick sees a familiar face. He's like, he's the only one who actually saw that. Fair. I'm guessing I probably can't actually stand there since it's like some rock thing. Wait, is there a wall in front of me? Yes. Okay. How big is the wall? Clearly tall enough to see over, but... Like, are we able to climb over it, or do we see through it? Or is there a gate? You can climb over it. It's, it's. I would say about seven foot tall. The gate is like the, the empty area between here, essentially. So Perfect. That, uh, I can see over it easy. That corner, basically. Hmm? Uh, let me ping it. Oh, second. there. Okay, I see. Uh, so there is no gate on our side. No, yeah, there is. It's oh, right here. Okay, yeah. Is a purple gate. Um, but yes, uh, they lock eyes and proceed to roll initiative. Wheel. Hey, best roll I've had all wait, day. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, I was going to say, did you want to try to get the thing up? Okay. So one person got theirs up. I don't know why Laris didn't, but roll initiative. Do you want me to re-roll? Uh, it's not, it's not working for anyone, yeah, I guess, so. You have to select your character icon on the map, and then roll. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so yeah, so everyone, everyone do that. <sighs> I already rolled 22. <laughs> okay, you can keep yours then, Jim. I'll, I'll manually add yours. Thank you. Mine's still a up, so... Wow. Okay, mine's not getting added for some reason. Doing something wrong? Are you clicking on your your pin and then rolling? Yeah, yeah, I've got it selected. Hmm. I took that one first. Man. Oh, by pin you mean the your player on the the board, right? Yep, you should click it so that the box is rounded and you can rotate your character. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me try one more time here. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just have to manually add it. So 16, I think, was my highest there. Or my first, rather. <laughs> or both, technically.
Um, what is your... So Toad's going last, actually. Yeah. Him's going first, and then him, and then Adorus. Is that everyone? Yep. We're missing someone. Or we're missing, um... We're missing me still, yeah. So does Tim still get to go first? Or, or does Forrest, because Forrest rolled a natural 20. Oh, right. You're right. Forrest goes first. Yeah. Um, 16 was my first roll. Okay. Uh, which means I'll have to re-roll to see who goes first between me and Nope. Yes. <laughs> Just let Nope go first. Oh, he fuck. Doesn't ever yeah, to go yeah first. well, I mean, I... Yeah. <laughs> I critically failed, so Nope goes first. The bright side, I'm glad I got that out of the way on that roll. <laughs> doesn't mean anything, you can still cleave yourself in the face. Okay, um, yeah, so, Forrest, do your thing. Okay, can I shoot the you enemy You can destroy here? that wall with him. No. I can destroy the wall. Uh, if you have a fire spell or something. It's a wooden uh, wall. No. Uh, can I lean around the door and shoot through the door? The gate. Uh, you can line up behind, uh, Adoros. So, there. Can I shoot the frog from here? Yes. It is a large target. It takes up a lot of space. Okay. I will do that. Nice. Okay. I think you hit. Uh, yes, you definitely hit. It did for two. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now it is Tim's turn. Pew. Ooh, crit. <gasps> <laughs> uh, don't, don't use Bye. both of my crits. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 16. Okay, where, does the, where does the text come from when you do that? Description. Uh, yeah, the description. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, okay. It's taken 18 damage and it is pissed off. Um, Adoras, Adoras is a bit dumb and he's gonna run right into its face. Good. Good Better job. I approve. Not enough to hit it. All right, big guy, it's your turn. Oh, going by my character, he would charge right in. Drop the sword in a second. You hit it. <laughs> you hit it for a lot. Uh, Satelli's turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pull out my longsword for this. Longest sword. And I'm gonna keep my shield on my back and go for two handed. And you don't hit. Also, you have to move yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. Right. You, you also. Um, 
All right, um, it is now your turn. Uh, oh my god, I forgot your character's name. Uh, Alaris. Alaris. Uh... I'm going to keep my distance, but remain close enough just in case. I need to run in and heal someone. Okay. Um... So it's the Toad's turn, who's going to attack a Doris. Boy, he's just my favorite person. Um, he does not hit a Doris. He, his tongue lashes out and misses him just ever so slightly. Um, Forrest, it's your turn. Um, I'm not sure what the hell. Try to sneak a shot right past him. Well, presumably you can pass him. You not succeed. Close enough. Uh, I didn't critical fail, did it? Uh, Tim, it is your turn. I don't like soft cover myself. It's kind of a. Yeah, it is kind of actually. Yeah, some melees. Sneak attack. Alright, it is Adorus's turn again. He is going to swing, swing, and does not hit. Uh, nope. Alright, Chris. Nope. Jeez. Okay. Uh, uh, well, you hit it. Uh, with a mighty swing into the gaping maw of the creature, you manage to heft off a good portion of its head. Um, <laughs> you kind of separate it at the at the mouth, uh, so it's like one of those like Pac-Man toys, but you rip the the, the toy the, the top of the head the head the head off. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of falls there, tongue hanging out. Um, yeah. So it's dead. Um. So I'm pretty sure this isn't what was raging. Excuse me, when... What? Yeah, go ahead. Never mind. When it dies, you hear a bunch of, like, gasping noises, or at least what you can... what sound like, like, um, sh sharp intakes of breath uh, from... Oh, serpentine voices. Um, from behind uh, Satelli, essentially. Uh, which I have now turned to face. Yep. Um, and you... Like a few of the, um, a few of the adult uh, lizard folk start to emerge from the hole on all fours with their heads down, sh shuffling for forward towards you, in a clearly like meant to, uh, and they start to surround Chris, and they're all clearly like bowing to him. I do believe they think you're some sort of god. <laughs> That's how you do it, not by lighting up your breastplate. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have, uh, and you see, like, other lizardmen, like, armed with axes and stuff, come into the village um, and drop their weapons and start to make the same like gesture they've fallen before you in like 
reverence and almost like dey deification. Um, well, so I ask uh, Adaro, so, um, what do you want to do here? Uh, he's as flabbergasted as you. Um, he's not entirely sure what to do. Uh, but he turns to you and he's like, well, I'm fairly certain these are the guys that have been raiding our, our, our camps. Then I, I, I just, I don't know what to do with them now. Yeah. Um, well, they still obviously don't speak, uh, com so that's a problem. Yeah, um, so how do you guys, uh... <laughs> Mass executions go. Uh, I'm joking. No, actually. Um. So my theory that my character that Miss Tully proposes, uh, my theory is that uh, in some way or another, these lizard people were. Not sure if being coerced is the correct word from what didn't really appear to be a vocal frog. Uh, but this frog thing in some way had them like enthralled, and I, th I think it is likely now that the frog thing deity, whatever, has Can been slain. Can sense magic? Um, I mean, this yeah, should be able to. I don't have a ability for that, no, but I can uh, do a... Uh... There's no specific check for that that I see under skills anyway, so... Uh, it's Could detect it be like... magic. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a there's a spell for that, isn't there? Uh, next level will be able to. <laughs> uh, do we get enough experience yeah. to level up? <laughs> Perception or insight? Hmm? Uh, perception, well, perception. Insight. Uh, you're not gonna be able to sense magic with perception or insight. Yeah. Um, but you can like you can make one of those rolls. Um, Arcana by chance. Arcana, knowledge, Arcana. Uh, no, I think it, it would have to be detect magic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, because like I mean, Arcana, you. Yeah, Arcana would only work if it was something that was known, and this is going to be from a new world where that stuff wouldn't be known yet, so. Well, no, like, it, you could, well, actually, roll a Knowledge Arcana check, if you have it. I think it'd have to be giving off some sort of obvious what was that? Arcana. Yeah, some... so, well, you can't sense any magic coming from the Toad, it doesn't look like like a spell has been broken over the, at least from the way that they're acting it doesn't look like a spell has been broken from these people yeah well i wasn't talking about necessarily a spell but like yeah so they're yeah so you can so whether or not the, the frog is magic um the people have not changed their like overall actions because of its death um or well like, because <laughs> they, like, they, like a mind yeah and all of them go, ooh. Toy Story aliens. Flex your biceps. Well, did, did we, I'm assuming we confirmed that this toad was what was making those big stomping sounds? Yes. I think we're pretty sure you're the only one who saw it at the other place that we heard them from, but we all saw it at this place that we heard them from, so. Hashtag logic. Yeah, I mean, correlation does not imply causation, but pretty strong correlation. So, um, I mean, yeah, I still think, um, now that you've defeated their frog thing, they're probably less likely to attack you. So I think you can probably just leave them alone. Not like murder their children and commit genocide. Kind of opposed to that sort of thing, so. Should be fine. I turn and start walking out of the uh, camp. And I follow. 
<laughs> Eteros shrugs and starts a view. Eteros shrugs and what? Sorry, I missed that. Eteros shrugs and starts to follow you. Cool. Okay. So I um, go home. As as Chris starts to, <laughs> to or as as Alvex starts to walk out of the camp, the lizard men literally they start gathering their things and following him. <laughs> okay, Alvex has to stay here. Sorry, just wave it. <laughs> yeah. Now we have all um, sorts of female companions that we can accidentally slaughter. That was one time, and she's in a coma. She will be fine. I just need to get back, get a long rest, and put some healing on her. If the gnome has not already healed her. Uh, they're calling it these days, but it's really not. Oh, God. Right. So, you guys go back to town. Uh, and so do the lizard men. <laughs> yeah. uh, that'll go well. Um... So what we need to do is find some way to convince the lizardmen to guard the town. Which is um, basically so up to men... Alvec. Yeah. Have formed like uh, my intelligence camp is not high. Of the camp. <laughs> well, you may not want to that to me. Yeah, they've made a they've made a small camp outside of outside of the the village. I wonder what will happen if uh, Elvik gets on a boat and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably kill all the boats that ate their god. I don't know. Or revere them. Yeah, but I mean, he got willingly onto the boat. And also, yeah, there's that point too. They maybe Elvik became god by killing the last god. Yeah. Has anyone? You've seen Despicable Me, or yes. the Minions movie in particular. <laughs> no. Yes. No. I will. That's what I'm imagining right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean this yeah, is. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Like, and if you guys want to do anything extra to follow up on this um happy to indulge you i would like to uh visit the girl i maimed and apologize and heal her if she's not already healed okay this might um, go terribly <laughs> yeah so you all have a good rest in the hospital slash morgue slash armory <laughs> um, uh, Livius is actually um, attempting to draw blood from Alvec again when he wakes up. I keep him at least Assuming. arm's reach away with my sword. You should make a motion <laughs> that you have an army of fanatical followers now. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, so there's an idea. We could just keep the army of fanatical lizard people. Um, you go over across the, I guess, like, literal, like, I mean, she's in the same room as you, she's just in a coma, so, because you're in the hospital, you're sleeping in the hospital. Okay. Well, in that case, I cast, uh, Lay on Hands and heal her to you for Okay. Um, so her eyes flutter open. And she looks at you, and she, like, latches around your waist, but doesn't say anything. Just starts hugging you. Um, I am somewhat flustered and gently pat her on the back. And, uh... I leave the room because it's getting awkward. What? I leave the room because it's getting awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and say, um... I'm glad you're okay. Uh, I need to go now. Um, this nice gnome will take care of you, and I think you could actually probably use an assistant around camp. Um, so that'll keep you safe and out of combat. Um, and we've also dealt with some of the raiders, so you should be pretty safe here. Uh, she starts shaking her head um, 
the she can't say anything because her jaw is wired shut. With like a nasty like mechanical contraption <laughs> of gnomish variety, um, uh, and then like, yeah, she's she's shaking her head. I feel like this would be a persuasion check type thing. Uh, or you can just beat her with a spear again. <laughs> yeah, that would seem to make her more. I'm pretty sure that would not be a good thing to do, which uh, would definitely go against my character's predilections, so... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Roll, yeah, roll the persuasion. I keep pulling out a d20, uh, like, an actual d20, uh, and that's not a thing here, so, uh, mm. <laughs> habits. Uh, persuasion. Um, she's not happy about it, but she seems to understand mostly. Yeah. It it just so I, I emphasize that where I will likely be going, it just will not be safe for her. It is safest for her if she stays here. Actually, um, is there? Well, I suppose the predictably the gnome is probably also the priest. Hmm. But is there a chapel? Or Maybe. Because uh, if there's a temple with an no, actual priest no, who's so not the gnome, that might be safer. There's no chapel. There's just like a crude structure with a bunch of like, um, w like wooden carved like symbols of different gods. But it's not like a real church with a, with a, with a, the priest. Okay. Um. Uh, this is what I'm going to go with then. So I tell her, um, I know your life and struggles have been hard here, um, but um, uh, Lathander has uh, given you a second chance here, a chance to start a new life. Uh, as I'm saying this, I take off my holy symbol of Lathander and put it around her neck um, and tell her that we've we've dealt with the raiders and uh, things should be peaceful here for a time, but this, times will still be hard here and they'll need someone to go to for um, peace and solace. Uh, so it would uh, make me very happy if you could watch over these people um, as an unofficial uh, priestess of Lathander. Well, I <laughs> uh, am tasked with uh, more dangerous activities. She seems to get a light in her eyes and starts nodding like uh, emphatically. Woo! Success. Uh, anyone else have things they want to handle in town here? Yeah, I, think so. I think I'm fine. Right. Yeah, I think you're good. We level up? Um, I'll have to calculate how, many, how much XP you guys have gotten, because I didn't calculate in the, um... You guys did two less fights than I thought, and I didn't calculate the bar fight either, so... So I will text, I will make a note once I've calculated that, because um, I know Tim has to log, so I'll make a note when I calculate that, and you can read that tomorrow if you want to check it. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right.